The following audio is intended for mature audiences and contains adult content, graphic language, graphic violence, and strong sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Fedora, everyone. Uh, my name is Tony. I will be your esteemed DM for this grand evening that we are going to be bestowing on to our players. Uh, speaking of our players, let's go off on the list as per usual. We have Eli. Yes, sir. Followed by Hacksaw. I'm tapping his mic and... He sounds like a zombie, but hey, he's going to wake up here shortly after what I've got in store for him. Last but not least, the one and only Mayhem Vogue. Fear me. And he has a voice changer that, quite frankly, is probably going to be the bane of my existence. It's going to be the bane of my existence already. We can already tell that by now. Uh, okay, so... Last we left off, we had a juicy episode last time, guys. We uh, we managed to have our players go and meet up with the bartender of the Everlasting Portal who told them that he would grant them access to the casino where the arena was going to be held. And both Mouse and Norbit did so in one particular way by entering the fight themselves with their owlbear that they had bought. And Rhaegar, on the other hand, did so by the normal means of uh, spending 550 gold pieces to create a concoction out of that said gold that teleported him to the front of the casino. Our players then split off into different sections where Mouse and Norbit ended up getting, uh, having to do a sneak mission in order to basically f find a way to have their owlbear make it to the last round of the fights. They, they did get caught, but in the process, they did not get caught, but in the process, they did manage to find Adam's office room which led to Mouse finding out exactly what kind of demon he is dealing with. Bloody, disgusting, horrifying mess that he has put himself in. Meanwhile, our friend Rhaegar over here was placing his bets, watching the fight as it foretold, only to find out that his brother is the one involved with the whole thing. And that's where we are now. I have a question for the DM before we start. Yes, sir. Did I get my fucking gold back? You will find out when it's your turn. Oh, <laughs> come on. I'm going to leave you in suspense even longer because, Rip. because I am evil like that. Speaking of evil, however, we're going to start off with Norbit and Mouse as to what oh. kind of situation they are in currently. So, Do you just call me evil? No, I called myself evil. But you said speaking of evil. Speaking of evil. Wow. Well, wow. like, wow. well, like, wow. In the context of I what said, I meant, wow. in the context of what I meant, they're about to find out what that said evil that I was talking about actually is. But no, I was not referring to our players oh, as evil. There you good, sir. I am neutral good. Oh. Uh, I'm but like something. But Alice and Norbit, you are in this secret room. Uh, there is blood everywhere. The corpses oh, of your fellow yeah. brethren and sisters, uh, all laid about. Uh, from your specific race, Mouse. Norbit hasn't really said anything as far as like what he is seeing here in this scenario that he's in. I see lots of fur coats. You do see a no, lot. That's a, that's a joke. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now he is well, evil. I mean, he did say the last episode that he turns my people <laughs> into clothing. Well, uh, novelty items like yeah, like 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 fur coat 
But uh, Harold's and speaking of said um, <clears throat> individuals, I need both of you to roll me perception check. Can I do Icona? No. How about you roll a perception check? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. the DM. I roll when I damn well please. <laughs> the DM is rolling for Sheet to I'm rolling to see how much damage I'm going to deal to you. Yeah, every fucking time I roll bad, it's, oh, let me just roll to see if you've died. Not today. Oh, you ever just, like, click Control v when you mean to click Control z and it deletes the entire text? <clears throat> Never. So perception. Yeah, perception, no. yes, sir. Uh, well, I do it on a regular basis, and that's, like, the seventh time today. Ah, uh, I got us an it. Got an I got eight. A seventeen. Uh, 17? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Norbit, you're the only one that hears it, but coming from the desk, the front desk in the main office, you hear what sounds like a beep. It's like repeated, uh, repetitive. A beep. A beep, like beep, oh, beep, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. beep, beep, beep. Is it potentially like a toaster? Uh, you would have to go over there and find out, but you do know it's coming from the desk. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like that because Rhaegar has fancy fucking equipment and the the desk that we 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 drew on. Yes, the desk that you drew on. Yeah, I'm obviously going to go check on that desk and draw in it a little bit more. Okay. Um, you come up to the desk, and on top of the desk where most of, like, his paperwork and all that fancy good-looking stuff is at, you see what looks to be, like, a box, and there is a button on it, and above the button there's a flashing red light, and mm -hmm. it is making the beeping noise. I'm pushing the button. You're pushing the button? Okay. It's a big red button. I'm going to push it. You push the button, and in the center of the room, uh, Mouse, are you still in the other room? Yes, I am okay. mourning the death of my sibling. Okay, so you're not going to notice it. You're not going to notice. You're not going to see it, but you'll hear it. Uh, but Norbit, as you press the button, you see a hologram flash in front of you. And it's of an individual that's flashed in a like a really long black cloak. You can't see much of his face. You just see the the front portion of his face, and he looks like he has like a snout. Almost front like of his face is his face. <laughs> you you can't see like you can't see like his eyes or his hair or like but this motherfucker over here trying to maybe be absolutely one hundred percent. You can face, only see his fucking nose. His you can only see his damn nose. Not gonna lie, I, uh, I had to restrain myself from saying that last session. <laughs> you can only see his damn nose. How about that? Okay. Um, can't see his face, but just his nose. He oh, has a, he has like what looks it. to be like a snout. It, it you can. Roll an insight check to kind of get a little bit better read, but that's what you see right now. What? I will do that. Is it insight? A check. Insight. In a check now. Well, Eleven? Yeah, okay, you can kind of tell that this is a dragonborn. All right, listen. But... Does it do what? Do what now? Does the hologram do anything? Yes. Uh, it, it doesn't look up at you. But, or at least to your knowledge, it doesn't look up at you because you, like I said, it's the hood is covering over like 90% of his face. Uh, but you can hear him speak, and he says, Well, it seems like somebody has found my secret stuff. Yes, your punk collection. It's covered. I'm going to pretend to be a statue. <laughs> uh, roll me a deception <laughs> check. <laughs> Roll me a deception <laughs> check. What the fuck, Norbit? I feel like it was funny, okay? Um, where's my deception? <laughs> oh, my deception's not good. I got a seven. Uh, he says, uh... So, 
I hear that you and Chroma are causing problems. And, uh, hey, uh, Mouse, how's mother and father doing? I would like to continue to attempt to become a statue. Uh, you've already failed that, so he already knows of your presence. So I, want to I too, my like to pretend to be a statue. Okay, roll me a deception check, Mouse. Can I pretend to be a lampshade, uh, a lamp and put a lampshade? No, in? you've already rolled for Fuck. your stupidities. <laughs> stupidities. <laughs> <laughs> your stupidities failed. Uh, deception. There it is. I got a nat twenty, not nat twenty, an unnatural twenty. Got a dirty twenty. Got a dirty twenty. Yeah. Uh, he he doesn't say anything. He kind of just pays you no mind. Uh, but he, he goes no mind after he thinks I'm there. <laughs> uh, but he goes and looks back over to Norbit and says, uh, "So, what do you think of my uh, my fur collection?" What fur collection? Uh, you mean the one that's right across in this secret room that you guys just I came out of? Statue. What secret room? I'm just gonna have Norbit like randomly screw my but a statue. I see nothing. <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> Even if he knows I'm not. <laughs> All right. Uh, Norbit, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one d twenty plus my wisdom, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of don't tell. Well, your saving you. throw might be. You need, I think, or no, it's the same. Yeah, check your saving throws. It might be different. Yeah, my saving throw is um the same as my wisdom, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Was, uh, why is it with me getting seven? Seven. Okay. Yeah. So you suddenly see pigeon crumple up, and you uh, pigeon is now gone. You mean Tony? Or me, yeah. You can't cast him again, and your magic is also depleted. You have no more spell slots. For the remainder of... do not need spell slots? While you're in the remainder of this room. Uh, Uh, Mouse, I need you to make a... uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Basically, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, these dumbasses have pissed him off to the point to where that he's uh, slowly torturing them. I got a nine. A nine? Okay, uh, so you suddenly feel a shock of electricity, and you're about to take 3d6 points of damage. Fucking rip. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You take 12 points of damage, and you are... Under the classification of what I am calling paralysis, which means that you're basically prone, but Wait, every he doesn't know he doesn't know I'm there. Remember no, he do- no, 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 no. He does know that you're there. You just didn't ask, so he knows that you're there. Um, and you what are my deception. Does my deception? Your deception was not high enough. No. Uh, dirty twenty wasn't high. Enough. Yeah, your dirty twenty was not high enough. No. <laughs> Um, so, uh, basically, like I said, you're under the paralysis effect that I have come up with, and basically what it means is that you're in the state of being prone, and every, and what, if you do happen to get in combat, basically you'll take an additional 1d6 points of, uh, lightning damage, and you do get to roll to see if you get out of it. And I will go ahead and tell you that in order to get out of it, the DC for the Constitution saving throw is a DC 18 in order to get out of it. Can I not just help him up? No, you ha- like you can help him up, but if you go touch him because your uh, he has removed your magic and removed your capabilities of your protection, basically, if you go try to touch him. Uh, I'm classifying it as stating that you're going to be auto-critted on, and you're going to be in the same position that he's at, and you're going to take the lightning damage for him, and could potentially kill Mouse. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, would you actually like to have a real conversation now? <laughs> Decisions. So, here's the way I see it. You found what I didn't want you to find. So I'm going to give you a choice. And he looks to you, Norbit. 
He says, you leave your friend behind and walk out that door. Never speak of this moment to anybody. I will pay you 1,000 gold pieces, and this will have never happened. I'm going to turn around and tell to eat my shiny metal ass. And I need you to make another wisdom saving throw. I, I ain't leaving my house. I'm with it. What were you making me roll? Of wisdom again? Yeah, wisdom. Yep. 11. 11? Okay, you're about to take... You take the max damage. You take 12 points of electricity damage. Uh, you feel that there is a shock of electricity coming from underneath your feet. Uh, you also are now considered under the paralysis effect. And uh, you will be taking 2d6 points of damage because of it being more effective to your kind in this scenario. So, I'm going to ask you one more time. So how much damage did I take? 12? You took 12 points of damage, yes. So, do you still want to stay in this room now? Or yeah, do you? I'm leaving him. Okay. So, I ain't going to leave him. He, he snickers and says, I kind of assumed that that would have been the case. So, with that coming into effect, once I've handily defeated your friend Rhaegar, I'm going to do a couple of special things. And then we're going to swap over to Rhaegar. Rhaegar. Yes, sir. You still see, you're still in the situation where you're sitting in the arena. Wait, Tony, he can't speak if he's paralyzed, bro. Uh, who? Rhaegar, uh, Norbit. He said he was paralyzed as well. Now, well, okay, so it's more like, think Paralysis, of it like, you, you can't it, well, speak. okay, think of it like that he's unable to move his, his body, but, like, it's not to the point to where that, like, he can't speak or anything. It's kind of like, What's that movie called where it had like that giant electric dome over them and then they couldn't move their uh, Star Wars. OK, remember in episode two in Star Wars when Obi-Wan was trapped in that like force field thing where he was floating and he could still talk, but he couldn't move. Like oh, that paralysis. Well, OK, <laughs> that's all different thing. well, that's like detainment. Yeah, detainment. Like yeah. So Nor is Norbit is in detain. Norbit is in detainment. Nor okay. Norbit is in detainment, and Mouse, you are par uh, paralyzed. So Norbit is detained while Mouse is paralyzed. All right. So we got that out of the way. Rhaegar. <laughs> Rhaegar, you're still in the situation where that you saw on the overhead screen above you. And you notice right offhand that it is indeed your brother. And the only reason that you know it's your brother is because you remember your family telling you uh, uh, about him. You've never actually met him in person, but you know about him through reputation, repetition, or not repetition, uh, like through stories that you've heard from your family and that he was considered like the black sheep that he was, like, not wanted because of his, his philosophies and the way that he went about things. But he basically has challenged you to this fight between his blue dragon wormling and your owlbear. So what do you do? Whereabouts is his projection thing is it on the screen or is it like it's on the screen yes yeah. so all you can see is just like his neck up you don't see anything else it's just that okay. that's all you see okay i'm gonna look at the screen and i'm gonna well i, I suppose i was still sitting down by this point so yeah you were up. you were sitting down yes okay i'm gonna stand up and i'm gonna call out to him on the screen and say no monsters no monsters you and me right here right now he chuckles at that and says uh if only i could if only i could brother then you but you see we're playing my game and in my game, game and in my game i make the rules as of right now two of your friends are being held captive so to speak 
And not only are those two friends of yours being held captive, but basically the thousands of people that are in this building right now are also being held captive. For you see, I have the possession and the capability to destroy this entire structure with the press of a button. So either you agree to my terms and do it as I've stated, or I kill everybody in this building. Threatening the innocent is a coward's way. Fight me, yourself, here and now, and prove to not just me, but everybody else here that you are as strong as you claim to be. Uh, roll me an intimidation check. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. He scoffles at you and says, you're not even worth my time. How the fact that I'm wasting me? my breath on you. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm sorry, but I was about to say, you're not even worth my time. But he's wasting his time now, then. Um, but seeing as how as you seem to refuse my offer, then uh, let's have a little fun, shall we? And then you immediately see the dome, the arcane dome, disappear. Gone. Need you to now roll initiative against a blue dragon wormling and an owlbear. Oh, you asshole. Oh, no, that's the start. Oh, we're, we're just getting started. 16. Uh, the dragon wormling goes first, you go second, and the owlbear goes after you. So he basically controls the owlbear now. He is. How does uh, he control it? Isn't the he cast a spell? Linked? He cast a spell on it. What spell? Uh, not telling yeah. you that. He's no, not, no, he's no, not, no, 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 no. Is he's there? What spell did he cast? He's he not can... there. He's not there. And how did he cast a spell? Because he has his ways. Okay, so the dragon wormling. Okay, so I need you to roll me a pure luck check because there are essentially about a thousand people in this building right now and de determining on what you roll will determine if he actually targets you first or if he'll go after one of the innocent bystanders in the building. So straight up just a 1d20 for a luck check. 10. Uh, okay, so he will go after you first. All right, so he turns around to you, and you already are going to take half of this because of the type of dragonborn that you are. So you got lucky on this part. But uh, he shoots a ray of lightning from his mouth towards you. So everybody within a 30-foot radius next to you that was sitting in the arena with you is automatically dead. Can I also say that uh, Path of the Bear as well? Uh, it makes me resistant. The, the resistant bear is not... all damage types except from Psychic. You're not in rage right now, though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it does. You have to be in rage in order for that effect to work. So, right now, you're already taking half because of the color of your skin. But when it comes to your turn, you can then go into rage and then take half of that if you were to do it again. So it's right now you're taking more damage just because you're not in rage at the moment. Um, but I need you to make a dexterity saving throw anyway. Uh, so go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw for me. That's an 18. Uh, you did pass that. Okay. So you're going to take 2d10 points of damage, which is already halved. Uh, 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You take uh, 13 points of damage, which was already halved. And he is going to fly straight over to you and land in, in directly in front of you. But you also just saw about, I'm going to say about 100, maybe 150 people around you dodges now too. So there's also that. But it is your turn. How far is the closest door? Uh, to you, I will show you. Uh, we are going uh, to do a... Uh, you told the map, ladies and gentlemen. 
We are going to do a screen share. We are going to five. And this is what it looked like before, but now that red dot, you are going to color as green. You are currently right here. And red dot is right there. Okay. You are currently roughly about on either side of you. You could go about, you could make one dash action and then on your next turn move half your speed and it would get to either door okay okay so you're going to use a dash action in which direction up or down uh whichever one's closest to me I will, but I will, I yeah they're they're, they're both the same they're both the same it just like if you go if you go down then the owl bear will be able to get closer to you but if you go up, then the owl bear won't be able to reach you at all. Up, up, okay. Up it is. You are roughly right about. Thankfully, you ran in the exact direction to prevent an attack of opportunity as well. So there's also that. You got lucky on that part. The owl bear is going to. The owl bear is going to try and do a dash action. Board and I actually know in the opposite direction we go about right there okay now we're gonna swap over to Norbit and mouse real quickly so Norbit is incapacitated or whatever you want to call it the word that we mentioned earlier and mouse is paralyzed he looks up at Norbit and says, As we speak, your friend Rhaegar is in a bit of trouble. I've also went and activated a few, few other side options to make it a little bit more fun. So, I'm going to ask you one last time, and if you do not oblige to my answer in the way that I see it, you all die. Will you, Norbit, take this bag of gold and he points in the direction of where his desk is at and you see a little compartment flip up and there's a huge bag of gold just sitting there? He says, w will you take that bag, walk out that back door, and let me keep mouse? No. All right, so I need... I need you, Norbit, to roll me a perception check. Okay. Uh, six. Six? Uh, you will not notice this. Three of them will get a surprise round on you. Um, so... That one's out. That one's out. That one. Okay. That does not hit you. That does not hit you. That one will hit you. And I... I rolled with advantage too, so keep that in mind. So two out of the three of them missed completely, and only one of them hit. But behind you, the one that hit you is going to take a bite out of you, and you're actually immune to this, so you do not have to roll a uh, saving throw for this. But he takes a bite out of you, and he's going to deal... 28. He did max damage, so 8, 9. He does 10 points of damage to you. Uh, but again, like I said, you are immune to it, so you do not have to roll the constitution saving throw for it. But um, you see a werewolf pop up behind you, and you also can see out of the corner of your other eye that there is a scorpion and a manticore in this room with you. That was, right. uh, so I need Mouse and uh, Norbit to roll initiative. And as I've stated, Norbit, you do your, from what he did to you earlier, you cannot cast any spells and you cannot call back Pigeon. Pigeon is gone while you're in this building. My initiative was 13. Uh, 15. Okay. So... That for the werewolf, that for the minotaur, that for the... Okay. 
All right, so Mouse, what did you get? Oh, well, what am I that rolling? I'm sorry. Initiative. I'm You're rolling sorry. initiative. Oh. You're fighting a werewolf, a minotaur, and a manticore all in one room. Uh, Tony, can I do a arcana check to see if I, uh, to see where the, uh, kind of eight projections come from? You're actually going second, so on your turn you can, but the werewolf goes before you, and then you go second, uh, mouse will go last, and then, uh, the minotaur and manticore will go after Norbit. Uh. So the werewolf is going to slash at you with his claws and he's going to do it twice missed on the first one and he misses on the second one okay you better be lucky that your ac is so damn high uh it's all killed. but the werewolf attacks you twice with his claws and misses and it is your turn so here's the situation that you're in you currently cannot move your body you have basically zero movement speed so you have to make another saving throw in order for you to be able to move right the saving throw is a wisdom saving throw i'll go ahead and tell you that the dc for the saving throw for you is a dc of 16. if you fail you're going to take some uh lightning damage and you're not going to be able to do anything on your turn you cannot move attack anything what, what saving throw am I doing again? Wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. Eight. Uh, eight, you fail. And uh, give me just a moment, guys. Okay. So you failed your wisdom saving throw. You're going to take uh, 1d8 points of... You take one point, And you cannot attack nor move this turn. Shot. Uh. All right, so now the Minotaur and the Manticore go after you. So I need Norbit and Mouse to both roll me luck checks. Whoever rolls highest will be avoided. Okay. Uh, So... I got a 19. Yeah, the Minotaur and the Manticore are both going to come after Mouse. Uh, The Minotaur is first. Um, he is going to use his full movement to get to, to Mouse, and he is going to swing with his great axe with advantage. Or where the fuck did a minute talk come from? That was one of the monsters that was listed. I thought you shot a a more. A scorpion, a... There's a scorpion, a basculus, an ankylosaurus, a manticore, a minotaur, owlbear, water weird, and a werewolf. That was the first eight. Then there was a ninth one, which is the blue dragon wormling. I thought you said there were only three in the room of us, though. There are. Uh, the minotaur, yeah. manticore, and werewolf. I thought it was... I thought I didn't... I thought it was a scorpion, not a Or minotaur. scorpion, yeah, scorpion. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh, yeah. scor- the scorpion and the manticore are going to uh, come after uh, mouse. The scorpion is going to take two sting attacks. And it... Does an 18 hit you, mouse? Uh, it does? Okay. Uh, so, the first damage is going to be 1d10, 8, take 8 points of damage on the first one, and that definitely hits on that one, another 1d10, that's 10, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw, okay, so he rolled a 16, he does pass, So, he's not going to be poisoned, and you're also no longer paralyzed. So, you will will not be, uh, you'll be able to move around and attack and stuff on your turn. Uh, the the Manticore will not be able to get to you on this turn. 
So it's going to use its full speed to come halfway to you, and then that's going to be its turn. So, Mouse, it's your turn. What do you do? Do, 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 do. do, do. Uh, I will use my action to take a potion, Tony. Okay. Roll 2d4 plus 2. Is it 2d4 plus 2? Yes, sir. 10. Beautiful. Gain 10 back. Uh, I Wait, need you to that roll... That one health. I need you to roll me a perception check. Or Arcana. Alright, this does not count towards mine, does it? Because you're asking me to do this. I'm asking you to do this. Sweet. I would do a perception. Uh, 15. In the... What essentially would be your right-hand corner of the room that you're currently standing in, you see what looks to be like a green portal on the floor. Okay. How far is it from me? About half your speed. All right. Um, I would like to use a uh, second wind, a bonus action. Okay. Twelve. Okay, you get twelve back. All right. So, All right. do you want to move? Then I will move closer to the portal, and then I will use action surge to gain another action. Okay. All right, so how close do you move to the portal exactly? Right next to it. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, does uh, Norbit see me move where I'm moving? Can he see me? Not in the position that he's currently standing in, no. Can I use my own free action to alert him to what I'm doing? You most certainly can. Hey, trash can! Trash can! Yes. Where am I at behind him? You're in the, the that you're in that secret room, and the way you're standing, it's almost like you're you're around the corner. So it's kind of like you're you're kind of leaning over and yelling through that doorway towards his direction, and he, it's just close enough to where he can hear you. I found the back door. You know, like that one show with that that ugly ass grandpa and his grandson. I still can't move. No, come on. Oh, that's no. right. Oh, you can't move. Oh. Yeah, he can't move. Oh, yeah, take, I'm going to use my action to take a shot. Well, what's close to him right now? Uh, you can't shoot anything close to him. You can only shoot uh, currently where you're standing at. You can mm -hmm. take a normal shot at the scorpion, and you can scorpion. take a you can take a disadvantage shot on the manticore. No, let's, let's, let's kill that fucking scorpion. Okay. All right, so go ahead and roll um, your... Your attack. Let's see. La, da, 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 da. This is my attack. Again. Forgot. Ah, that's right. 27. That hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. How are you doing over there, Norbit? Uh, sitting at a bar, let's see. I'm sitting at a juicy 10 HP. 10? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, I got an idea. Alright, uh, plus... Yeah, go ahead and roll your damage first. Four. 14. Okay. Make me a religion check. Religion. Religion. With advantage. Sorry, with advantage. Sweet. Religion with advantage. Plus one. He always makes me roll the checks that I have horrible point like mods for. Well, you gotta get used it's to like it. It's like he's like, let me show how stupid his character is. He don't know how to how how he really John. See what I mean? I got a six. Got a six? Okay. <laughs> uh nothing happens this turn. Sweet. Okay. Um So right. you deal I will use the rest 14 of points of damage to move to line up with the door to can I move to where I can see Norbit? I'm guessing line up with the door to see him. Okay, you like not where the door is to get closer to the monster. Okay, kind of all right. So you've moved the, half your speed direction. already. If you move yeah. your half your speed again, you're going right yeah. back to the spot you were just at. 
Oh, I was thinking more of like a like a swing motion, you know, like I go in angle. Is there like, because if it's around, like if say like the doors here, and it, I'm guessing the portal is a, either to the left or the right of the room, right? This is it, why I can't see it. For, you were standing in the middle of the room, and then uh -huh. to your right in the the far corner was that portal, and uh -huh. you moved I over moved. to towards that portal, and that right. was half your speed. And then you're right. now wanting to move the rest of your speed back to that spot. Uh, instead of back to that spot, is there another area I can move to where I can see Norbit again? There is one way, but you would have to roll, and I'm going to say either acrobatics or athletics, Fine, or that. acrobatics or strength check. One of the two. Okay. Um, but you're going to bust through some glass. Shit. Okay. Uh, nineteen. You do successfully do that. I'll say that with the. I'll say that with the nineteen, you manage to kind of like do, kind of like a, you're doing like a dodge roll kind of thing, and you don't get any glass shards on you to, to cut you or anything. Kind of. So just I picture myself. I like. I like stand like. I am looking at my feet. And I'm like facing them, shoulder width apart, and I like kind of crouch, put my arms back, stand back up. Put my both crouch, put my arms back, stand back up, and then as soon as I go back down, I just tuck and slowly roll, and it just shatters. Yeah, exactly. Roll, exactly. <laughs> okay. okay. So that was your turn. Uh, now we go back over to Rhaegar, uh, the blue dragon wormling. I need may uh, mayhem or Rhaegar to roll a luck check again to see if he goes after you. That is a 13. 13. This time you do succeed. So he's going to go after somebody around your area, but he's not going to target you specifically. Uh, he flies over about 15 feet past you, and he basically grabs with his uh, teeth and bites a, a person in half. Nice. Uh, we're going to... Who are you? Right about... Alright. So that was the Dragon Wormling's <laughs> turn. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> it is your turn, Rhaegar. I'm going to do a full fucking dash action. I want to get through this door okay. as far fucking You're away as I can. You're out of the door, Okay. Do you shut the door behind you? Yep. Gotcha. What if that was Death's door? <laughs> what if that was Death's door? I mean, it fucking could be if that dragon hit me again. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> to Death's door, we're, we are no longer game. we are no longer going to be using the arena, uh, but I'm still going to keep the screen up because we're going to get to another map here shortly. You Sweet. are back into the main central room of this casino. Basically, what you see when you walk in is just absolute chaos. There's people running around. There's everyone screaming, yelling. Uh, they're trying to push each other down and to get out to the towards the exit. And the reason for this is, is that is this entire structure is falling to pieces it's shaking it's almost like an earthquake effect uh the only reason why the arena was not affected by this is because it's in the very center and the rest of the casino is the one that's being affected it's almost like it's in it, the earthquake is like a barrier around the arena basically right okay so the ground is shaking uh, pillars are falling over the place, uh, and you do see the exit, but in order to get to the exit, you're going to have to essentially make, uh, three dash actions, and on each of your turns, you're going to have to basically roll to see if you can avoid some obstacles. Uh, so, what would you like to do on your first turn? Well, I've already used my movement action, so it's not like I can go to the door again. Oh, that you did use a dash action. Okay, so in that case, what I need you to do 
is I need you to roll me a... I'm going to say that for the remainder of our time here, you're going to be rolling uh, dexterity saving throws. And determining on what you roll will determine on what happens. Wait, why dexterity saving throws? Because you've got falling debris, you've got like the ground shaking beneath you. Like there's a bunch of different stuff that's happening here that will cause you to either move out of the way and take no damage or you could p potentially take damage but the higher you roll the the more likely you are to get out of all of the obstacles at once could it not be athletics not for this no so you want me to roll yes please <laughs> 19. 19? Okay, you avoid all of that for this turn. Okay? okay. Uh, you, nothing happens to you on this turn. Uh, but you start. You do start to see uh, around you, like, the, the ground is cracking. Uh, there, like I said, falling debris everywhere. Uh, it's absolute chaos right now. Uh, okay. We're not going to worry about the owlbear because uh, you're out of the arena now. So, uh, back over to Norbit and Mouse. Norbit, it's your Yay. turn. I need you to make me a constitution Wait. saving throw. What about the werewolf? Oh, the bot's the same thing. Uh, where, oh yeah, the werewolf is hurt. Good, I, <laughs> I know, I probably shouldn't have said anything. Cause I you probably you, shouldn't, but, but uh, you did, but so now that that happens. Just being fair, just being fair here. That's a not very good. Uh, I missed both times. Norbit, it's your turn. Yeah, I forgot to roll. Karma. Wisdom saving. Constitution save or wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Sorry, wisdom saving throw. Eighteen. You do pass. Yeah. You can go. move. Oh, you can move again. You can move again. Okay. So, um, I'm going to use my bonus action first. Okay. Drink a potion. Uh, you can wait. Wait. No. You can't do I that. Can totally Rhaegar can yeah, do that. You Rhaegar can't do that. Yeah, Rhaegar's can the only one that can do that. You, you can can't. Use an action. You can do it as I an action, closer. but you can't do it as a bonus action. What was that about me? Yeah. Right. You're the only one. You're the only one, Rhaegar, that can drink a potion as a bonus action because of a feat that you have. Yeah. And then uh -huh. I have action. And then I have, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, not Arcs and Surge. No, I have a Second Wind, which is a, yeah. a heal ability. That yeah. Is my right. bonus action. Well, I will um, just drink a potion and then move to mouse. Two d four plus two, please, good sir. Ready a reaction. Two d four plus two. Yes, sir. Uh, seven health bar. You gain uh, seven health back. Yeah, and you said you want to move towards um mouse, mouse. correct? Okay. Yeah. You're gonna I'm take. Ready in action. You're going to take two attacks of opportunity, but you will be in front of the uh, giant scorpion as you move. So you will only have, you won't even have to use half of your speed to get to the portal. Um, right. So Wait, uh, I'm still at the portal. No, 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 no. I, he, he's he's within about like ten feet of you. But with him using his movement to get towards you, because he has more movement than you are, he's going to be closer to the portal than you were, basically. Do we have a map of that? No, I um, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I, I like I I can't. Um, I kind of get an idea of how he can do this without taking the two. It's just a straight hallway, basically. Like there's glass on either I, side of you, so. I did okay, so uh, the red area reaction get, before. Right, as so I we're in a because I remember wasn't weren't we in a study like an office? He was just then, in, he was just in the study. He just came right, out right. and went to the and secret then, room. In the secret room the secret on both on both sides. Secret door was it not? Was it? It was behind place? a secret door, and on either side, as you walk in, is two glass cages basically that. Uh, uh, so I it's where the glass came from. For yeah, there like, it's glass on both really sides. When he said I had yeah, there's yeah, there, there glass is glass on both sides. So it's like you okay. broke into another like little tiny room, basically. I did okay. say I wanted to. I had the idea. 
I had the idea that it was one big room connected to another big room. It is. That's what I it had. is. That's, well, well, you're saying there's hallways. That's why. That's not. No, a no, 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 no. You're misinterpreting what I'm saying. Okay, look. All right. So, am I? Yes. Are y'all yes. getting the same thing? You're no. You're not. You're, okay. I'm going to find <laughs> a really shitty map. Hopefully. No, this is ex I, okay. no you're so, like I can't explain it because like. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm going to draw. Okay, I get. Let's say one box is the. Uh, I'm just trying to get an idea of what's going on. Is the is the let's say the study the office. Oh. And then let's put like a, a, a corridor. I'm gonna draw on it now. Side. I'm drawing it now. Sweet, sweet. That would be awesome because I'm trying to get an idea of what if it's hallways. Like I had a completely different understanding of the layout. This is why I need to hire somebody to create maps for me because like trying to explain this shit is like well, it's 99.9% .9 so impossible. So yeah, here the is the study. We, we were describing the, the, the thing, blue we went straight the, into it. The like blue from, room is the study. The other one. The blue room uh, is the study. Sweet. Pink room is secret room. Uh huh. Okay. Green is the glass. Okay. See, so you didn't mention the glass in the last episode. That's why I'm so confused. Yellow is the portal. Then red is where this is where the manticore is. This is where the scorpion's at. Sky blue is where you're at. Okay. And then I said I wanted to go next to mouse, not the portal. By the way, you're not going to be able to do that unless yeah, you break like through the, the glass. The green part's the glass, which I had no oh, idea there was glass. God. All right. The game. orange is where the where Norbit is at. And then purple is where uh, the hologram is at. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I did say I wanted a ready reaction as well. As it, it will make a difference once you finish your movement. So, um, All right. but if you if you move in the way you described, you're going to move from here from that spot because uh, you. Basically, the desk is about five feet down below you because it's like at a straight angle between the hologram and the middle of the room. So I'm I put you here right at the door to show you where the entrance is at. So if you continue with your movement, you're going to wind up right here, but you're taking two opportunity attacks. Where's the bodies at? The bodies, they're, they're all over this room. Like, there's some in the room you're in. There's some in the other glass room uh, on the adjacent from you. There's some uh -huh. in that that next, to the, close to the portal. They're like, they're all so over the place. A manticore. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. I'll still do the movement. Okay. All right. So, you're going to take two attacks of opportunity. Yeah. And... It's not with advantage, so there's that. I miss on that one, and I miss on that one. Okay. So, you ready in action, and that's your turn. Yeah. Okay. So, the scorpion will try to attack uh, Norbit. Do you use your reaction? Yep. Okay, what do you do? Counter attack. Uh, Is that an option? You used your action to go in and um, drink a potion, so no. No, I said hold a, rea uh, a reaction. Okay. Not not an action. Well, attacking is classified as an action even if you hold it as a reaction. So, oh, yeah, yeah. so um, in order for you to do that, you would have to go in and not have drank that potion. Okay, so spells I have a gunner. No, not while you're in this room, no. Uh, so what can I do as a reaction then? You've used your. A do you have any bonus action spells that you can? Or no, you can't cast any spells. Can't so cast no, spells. yeah, That's yeah, you can't do asking. any. Yeah, you can't do anything. Ah uh, well, then go ahead. Okay. Um, I can stab it with a golden food. That's a miss. Uh, and that's also a miss. All right, Manticore is going to do the same thing uh, and misses on its attack. Okay. Mouse, it's your turn. Uh, yeah. Um, question. Yeah. Is a Manticore a... Or a giant scorpion. Sorry, it's a giant scorpion and uh, uh, 
Oh fuck, man. Giant, it's a giant like... scorpion and a, a giant scorpion and a manticore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought you were about to. Yeah. No. I was. I was looking at. I was looking at something else. Yeah. It's. It's a manticore and a giant scorpion. Yeah. Uh, so it's a manticore, a giant scorpion. Where's the werewolf? Uh, it's in that other room. Uh, I'll draw it right. Tony always forgets the werewolf guys. No love for the for the lichens or skinwalkers. He's right there. Whatever you prefer. All right. Um, question. Yeah. Is these creatures carnivores? Uh, are, are, are these creatures carnivores? I'm sorry, my English is very bad. Yes. Okay. Would they be attracted to? All the blood that's on the ground and the bodies. Uh, technically, yes. This is your decision. I'm just asking that. I mean, that's not, not a bad. Dis- that's not a bad. Right. That's I'm not. A, that's not a bad thought. That's not a bad thought. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually really clever. I don't so, know, like, their, like how their traits are. I don't know. Like, oh, would they? Like if they want an easy meal, like would they? I mean, things are dead. There's okay everywhere. So I'll tell That's you what, what I missed against Norbit anyway. So uh-huh. for Norbit, I'm not going to have you do this, but I'm going to say mouse. I'm going to let you decide. We, if I allow that, I'm going to uh, have you roll a luck check for both you and Norbit. You're, you're going to roll for the both of you. Okay? Uh-huh. If you succeed on a DC 15 or higher, I will say that all three of them will focus on trying to eat any of the, uh, the other corpses found in this room and not target the two of you. Let not, let not be wasted. Uh, you said luck, right? Yeah, it's just a pure luck check. 1d20, no modifiers. Crit! You crit? Okay. Alright. How Here. lucky is that? What happens I will, if you do a luck check and you get a crit? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna be absolutely... Well, no, I, I mean, like, is there actually something that actually helps happen? No, there... The, well, normally no. <laughs> normally no. But the right. situation you're in, like, that, that literally practically just saved your life. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Because you rolled a crit, I'm going to allow uh, you and Norbit to use a movement action on your turn to get to the portal and get out of there. Oh, sweet. You like that, Norbit? So little tiny brain that... That I've been given. So Norbit, Norbit, you have the option on Mouse's turn to use a movement action, a free movement action, to get to Mm -hmm. the portal if you so wish. Do you want to? I feel like you know, cut our losses and leave. Uh, I mean, what happened? Like, uh, I know there's there's nothing I could do. My like the, the the my my kid is literally like being used as a distraction so that we can yeah. live and fight another day. Well, this is what I'm thinking. really bad time. way. <laughs> I don't know if Tony's gonna let me know, like tell us this or not, but Tony, right? If we are to kill these three creatures, is there any loot potential that we could use after the after killing them? Or is it just to save us skins to kill them? <laughs> Are you asking like for the Hydra? Is this gonna okay. be the Hydra situation? No, to, okay, you know, okay. China, so because like, it is a like, pretty challenging. I mean it's like what mid to Okay low to mid hot mid level. I, I let me let me go into like absolute one hundred percent detail of the situation you're currently in, right? Yeah. So, you've got three monsters that are coming after you right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. When you leave this room, you basically are going to be put into the same situation that Norbit's in right now. Okay. Rhaegar. So, or Rhaegar's in right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting confused as to all this and shit. And I'm the one who's exhausted right now. Okay. You tell that the DM's not really on track today. I'm not. <laughs> like, I, like, I am so exhausted. All right. For those I'm that are listening right now, right. I have had the busiest day today. I've got so much shit that <laughs> oh. I've got to get done, and I haven't even done, like, a, a third of any of this shit. Okay. So just Shit. keep that in mind. I apologize for not being able to keep any of this on track. But it's okay, Tony, we're here. But um, the <laughs> the moment that you go through this portal, 
you're going to be in the same situation as Rhaegar. Your goal is to try to escape from this building because the entire building is collapsing in on itself. And if it collapses while any of you are still inside of it, you're going to fall into a void of nothingness and be instant player kill. No okay. coming back. Uh, so Sorry, what I'm so hearing Norbit. is no loot. So Norbert, what I'm going to say right now, I'm going to, I'm going to, I, you didn't leave me when he offered you money and yeah. said leave me. So I'm not going to leave you if you want to stay. No, let's well, I'm going to throw, I'm going to paint it for you. All of these monsters all have like multiple attacks. Scorpion has multiple attacks. The Manticore yeah, uh, has know, multiple it's... attacks. The no, Werewolf has multiple attacks. We are, are going to dip. I was just curious. I was thinking yeah. you know, <laughs> if we got something like Super OP or something like that. There was like <laughs> yeah, I agree. I remember what you know. Gregor's typing here. Forget the damn loot. Honestly, yeah, I would rather save my skin. Well, yeah, and... obviously. That's what but I was I'm saying. I'm not going to abandon you. No, no, no. That's what I was saying afterwards. We will just dip. Because I just in this situation... I just had to know if there was a possibility <laughs> of getting something like super broken. No, that, there, is that a, there is a there is a zero chance for you to get any loot here. All right, yeah, then we're dipping the fuck out. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. All right, and I'm going to still leave this up because you really don't need it right now. I'll go ahead and make another new one just so you can see. The are we are we still in combat once we go through the portal, Tony? No, you're going to be. I, I'm going to show you. I I'm going to show you exact. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like because Rhaegar. Right, as soon as I get out of the out, as soon as I get through the portal, I want to take another potion. So, since we're not going to be in combat, yeah. No. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. You'll be able to use your potion, so go ahead and roll for it. Okay, sweet. What'd you roll? Uh, I got a six. Okay, you'll get six back. I got a seven. Oh, I'm at I'm at twenty nine. What are you at? Right, Norbit. Twenty four. Okay, if my math is better. correct. Okay, I'm good. I'm good now. I have Rhaegar. Uh, so yeah. Norbit and Mouse. The moment you step into this portal, you teleport and you teleport to this giant room that looks to be like the main entrance to the casino at one point, but it's completely chaotic. It's like everything's being destroyed. Uh, debris is falling everywhere. The ground is cracking. The, the floor beneath you is shifting and moving, and it's, it's, just, it's just absolute 100% chaos. Rhaegar? You do see them teleport right across the way from you, about roughly 80 feet away from you. So do you say anything, Rhaegar, as they teleport? I'll give you that opportunity now. Uh, before I do that, can I make a perception roll? Yes. That's a 13. Uh, okay, what are you trying to perceive? The fucking <laughs> door. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you already saw the door. You already where's know where it's exit? at. He it wasn't know where the exit is. You already know where the exit's at. Right. You you came through it, so you didn't have to roll for that. No, I mean the door out of here. Yeah, yeah you all. You, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You already know where it's at. And put it on the map. <laughs> point it out so that we all know, because I'd like to know too. Player immersion, DM. You have to have it there oh um, man that's a big fucking door i hope my strength <laughs> check can open it <laughs> don't worry i got proficiency in strength <laughs> it's an archway so it's already open there's nothing to open oh, oh wait um, since when <laughs> that's hard. why we see it oh it's just a big gap in the wall <laughs> wait since i'm no longer in the room do i have pigeon and everything in my stalls but no I thought you said oh, this one as I was in No, we have, have, a, we have to have a long rest. He was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> no, like... No, got, it pretty much canceled your spell out because isn't Pigeon technically a spell? And he got rid of all your spell, like your spell slots too. So that it's, means it's pretty much it's equivalent to you. It's basically it. you, as long as you're in this casino, you have nothing. Oh, man. Uh, I thought it was just a one room. No, as long as you're in the casino, you have nothing. 
there, you, yeah, you have access to. And I see that he's sad because he misses he misses Tony a little bit, kind of. And uh, I put my hand on him and I go, it's like, did he touch you in your no no square? <laughs> well, I turn around and go, I can't fly. Oh, I'm not walking so slow. It's okay. And we just hold each other and cry. And I look at Rhaegar and I flip him off. <laughs> 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 okay, DM, you're gonna have to talk about that. You won't get DMCA, but that I've already got a damn headache from having to put up with you guys DMing me. So how about all of you fuck off? And Did y'all hear that too? Was that just me? I didn't hear anything, but anyway. Um it's technically oh, still Mouse's turn. Uh so Mouse, what do you do? Wait a minute, I think you just said turn. what he wanted to do. No, it's yeah, it's Rhaegar's turn. I mean, yeah, Ra- no, 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 no. I said Rhaegar has the opportunity to say something after oh, seeing yeah, them. It was, it's Mouse's turn. Plus appearing is what it was. And yes, then, you get a, a, a reaction. free reaction to them appearing. And why did you allow like me to roll a perception check? <laughs> I don't know why you needed to roll anyway. I told you where the damn door was to begin with. Well, it's, uh, it's not really turn-based. We're, uh, we're not in combat. You're not in... It's, you're not in... Co- well, okay. You're you're still in initiative, but you're not oh. fighting anything. So it is turn-based. So it's turn-based. Okay. I believe we're fighting the DM right now. It's free action. He's about to catch these damn hands. And these nuts. Can you guys go... <laughs> Uh, where are we going? You're trying to escape unless you all want to get a player kill. Hmm. Who's farthest from the door? Rhaegar. I by the looks of it. Rhaegar. I, know, I, was, I was like, is that Rhaegar way over there? Like, damn. To, run, okay. Run. To put, me to put into the equivalent of how far away you guys are from the door. Orbit and mouse, it takes you two dash actions to get to the door. Rhaegar, it'll take three. So, during your turns, each of you is going to have to make a dexterity saving throw to see if you can manage to avoid some obstacles that are happening. Does acrobatics count? No. Fuck. So, mouse, it's still your turn. Uh I gave you the free movement for the crit but you still have not completed your turn other than your action to heal with a potion. So what would you uh, like to do? I would like to use an insight check. Okay, that's going to be your free action. So go ahead and yes. Uh, insight. My insight is going to be, because it's wisdom, um, it's going to be to look, like you said that we're going to have to dodge debris. You're going to have to dodge debris, I would like to the ground cracking. The entire room and the way I have to go gain an idea of what is stable and what's not okay so if i succeed does that give me advantage on my rolls we'll see or how does that work we'll see okay we'll see depending on how high i roll yeah Yeah, depending on how high you roll we'll see what gotcha Gotcha, senpai i gotcha all right 10 mile big money (laughs) okay 11 okay With an 11, I'll at least tell you that you have basic instincts of knowing that there's nothing stable in this entire room. Everything is falling apart. So if you Mm -hmm. were to attempt to try anything like that, it may be to your disadvantage. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, I will go first then and move towards the door. Are you going to use a full dash? I can't. I use the potion, which is technically an action. Yeah, that's true. So you can move. What's your speed? What's your speed? Come on, DM. Come What's on. What's your speed? What's your speed? Uh, 25. Okay. I'm going to say you're still going to have to use two full dash actions to get to... Uh, Sounds fine. Do I have to roll... You do have to roll a dexterity throw? saving throw. Okay. 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 Starting to cool off now. Getting, starting to get chills, which could be just just a uh, heat 
heat stroke, but here we go. Uh, plus a three. For the win. 13. Okay. Um, Better. You don't fall through it, uh, mm -hmm. but the ground beneath you cracks slightly. Yeah. You're going to take 1d4 points of uh, damage. Does something come up and bite me? No, it's it's like you your foot fell through a hole, basically, and it's like it got caught, and you you kind of damaged yourself a little bit when you tripped. Shit. Kind of like getting a small uh, cut, basically. Fuck. I got a, I got a little scratch for four damage. If I can find a D4, that'd be great. It's three damage. All right. Yeah, you take three right, damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. You're not prone or anything. You rolled high enough to get out of all that. But, okay. uh, but yeah, you did fall through a little bit, and you did scrape your ankle a little bit, uh, and you took just three points of damage from that. <sighs> ah! 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 Oh, it hurts! Oh my leg! Oh, and like over dramatic, and it's a little cut. Oh no! Oh, look at it! Oh, is it bad? Norbit, is it bad? Okay, Peter Griffin. It's <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so like, I just wanted to hear me, hear me, dude. Uh, Slightly. okay. <laughs> now it is your turn, uh, Rhaegar. All right, we all heard him say that it's actually my turn now. It is your <laughs> turn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, Damn. with all the stupid s mistakes that I've made tonight, I might just end up redoing this it's entire right, session. No, 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 no. We didn't redo the bar face one. We're not redoing this one. <laughs> I just want to throw this out there. Um, are you going to title this one? I make many mistakes. As <laughs> sure. <laughs> the, mistakes ladies and gentlemen, the, the, yes. the name of this episode yes. is When the DM Screws Up All the Time. <laughs> I apologize. I made a mistake. Many, many mistakes. Alright, so it is your turn, Rhaegar. You have to do three full dash actions in order to get to the archway to get out of this room. Okay, hold on a second there. How many does Mouse have to make? Two. I have to make two of you still because I, I already used an action to uh, use a potion when I got in here. And then I could only... I couldn't do a full dash, so I, ha I was only able to move more normal speed. Okay. So I still have technically two dash action. Okay, dash me, motherfucker. Okay. Need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Shit, where's my character sheet? Uh, 16. You do pass um, enough to not fall through the floor, but you're going to take a little bit of damage from falling debris. It's going to be the same uh, as Mouse's, so one d four. You take. Are you are you enraged? No. No, he's not. He you'll take two points of damage. Uh, like just it, it's small little rocks fall from the ceiling and kind of just like nick you a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's cool. So it's nothing major or anything. Um, but that was your turn. So then also we are in, uh, in true D and D spirit of uh, keeping up with a uh, barbarian class. I just like to let the party know I'm officially at half health. <laughs> How so? You're halfway to death's door. Uh huh. Oh, he, he got he got, the, uh, he got on the he got on the charter he got on the charter bus and uh, he's on his way to uh, his I'm friend's house. I, I've, oh. I've pulled up I've pulled up my car at the curbside and so, I'm stepping out of the car. Oh man! Oh no! Oh, oh wow! That's oh, that's so detailed. <laughs> I drooled a little. Uh, Norbert, it's your turn, brother. Dashma. Yep. Dashma. 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 Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead and roll your. Uh, go ahead and roll your dexterity saving throw. So, I don't fucking wanna. <laughs> I don't yeah, wanna. Fail. Please don't make me. Please, a master. Do it. You Please, a no. <laughs> what did you roll? A six. You are going to fall through the floor. Am I dead? No. Wait. Shut he used the dash. It's oh, gonna. It's gonna be more like you're prone this turn, or for your next turn. So oh. on your next turn, unless Mouse helps you, yeah, with the help action, 
then uh, basically it's going to be that on your turn, you're not going to be able to move. You're going to have to use your turn to get out of being prone. Mm -hmm. But you're going to take eight points of damage as you oh, fall. You really don't let me do mocks. As you fall halfway through and uh, you catch yourself with your arms as you're falling through the floor. But you are prone it, on your next turn. It, in true D&D spirits following Rhaegar, I am um, near enough on the walkway towards Death's door. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, can see the door and I do not like it. It stares back. <laughs> stares back. Intense. Listen, come here to me, motherfucker. Off. You are screwed. All right, Mouse, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. I will use a movement. Um, I'm guessing that... Um, will I be close enough to help him, or do I need to use a dash and in the middle of my dash try to help him? You would need to do the latter. So... I'm going to turn around and as Mouse is coming like, towards him. Here. Gotcha, I got an idea. Okay, I will... I will actually dash... And as I'm dashing, can I drop uh, my, at one end of my rope right at him? I will say that that I will allow that. Yes, I'm gonna say uh, that, that will be. It's a, it's, I, it's I, basically. I, I, I dash, let me do this. Let me because I feel like it's gonna be an action, or will it be a bonus action to tie that rope around me? It would be an action to tie it around okay. you. So why I'm why I'm allowing you to drop the rope is it's basically I'm classifying it as you doing a help action for Norbit. So Norbit is going to be able okay. to roll his uh his roll with advantage on his turn to get out of being prone. Okay, well I'll just hold on to the rope then. I will hold on to the rope and do a dash action and drop one end of it as I'm going. Gotcha. Okay. Dexterity? Alright. Uh, yeah. It'll be a dex saving throw. He was about to skip it. Should've just let it. Uh, no, I actually was not. I did remember. I really did remember. <laughs> like you were about to skip No, it. I was <laughs> not. Uh, Norbit, on your okay. turn, just remember that, uh, when you roll to get out of being prone, you roll with advantage. Can I uh, 15, Tony. I I'm sorry. Do what now? I'm sorry. Uh, 15. 15? Uh, you will repeat the last turn. Uh, Is it my other leg this time? <laughs> two points of damage this time. All right, I'm okay. at 24, guys. Yep. Uh, okay, so then... I got out of the passenger side door of Rhaegar's car. <laughs> <laughs> Rhaegar, please go. <laughs> Dash me, motherfucker. Roll a deck right saving past throw, me. please. No drug. You just zoom right past me. <laughs> well, that's my third. I'm at the door now. Now that was your yeah, second. No, that was second. Yeah, that was your I've second. Only done, I've only done two movements. Yeah, that was your second. Hey, <laughs> seventeen. Uh, you also you'll wait. What did you roll the last time? Sixteen. He rolled a sixteen. Yeah, you. Yeah. And he got. It's, <laughs> Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So you'll take one d four with dust. Yeah, hit how much damage? Uh, one. An old man from the stands farts dust at you. You take one d four damage. Norbit, it's your turn. I need you to make me. I need to read how to. Uh, just say. want everyone to know that my character has is bonding immensely with with Norbit. Um, we are like the best of friends. I don't know if we call it best and of friends. Rhaegar's the guy that using me like a vehicle, and Rhaegar's the guy that I couldn't do this without him. But I show my love differently. I don't know <laughs> if you. I don't know if you. If you love me as a best friend, or like a man loves his car. Yes. I feel like it's the law. Yes. You're like you're a good vehicle. You've done me well. Yes. I trust you, I trust you with my capability. Yes. I'm just saying yes. <laughs> I know. <it> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Si. Si, senor. Si, senor. Bueno. <laughs> bueno, quesadilla. <laughs> Would you like a quesadilla? It's American <laughs> cheese. I'm going to say that I need you to roll me a strength saving throw to get out of being prone. Fuck. Uh, I swear you're looking for my low rolls. Uh, Wait, Tony, question. Yeah. Does Norbit, not Norbit, does Rhaegar run by me? He's, or is he right near me? 
He's near you. Um, Did you pass me yet? No. Okay. All right. Is he going to run by me? Because I want to pass the rope off to him. I feel like his strength is strong, better than mine. He he's close enough to where you could throw the rope to him. Yeah, make a, a check for it. So, uh, I did that my turn. Good. Just well, am I it. rolling? One you're rolling a str- you're rolling a strength saving throw to see if you can get out of being prone. Depending I'm on your with advantage. Ah, uh, how the fuck did I pull that one? Sixteen. Um, yeah, six, 16 twice. Yeah, you you will oh, be I, able I to get out of being. 16. You'll get out of being prone uh, in your current state, but you can only move half your speed. So, so if I do a dash, that's my full speed. <laughs> if you do a dash, that will be your full speed, which will mean that you'll have to do another dash to get to the archway. Yeah, but that's still thirty speed. So yeah. I'm chilling with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, speed me. All uh, right, me. speed me. Okay, Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, oh shit! I'm the fastest hunk of metal around. I'm fast as fuck, boy. I was gonna say it, but I was like, eh. no, no, go guys, I'm a cheetah. Rawr. <laughs> Mouse, please go. Oh, uh, I will toss the rope to Rhaegar. Okay. Uh, Rhaegar, make me you accept this gift. I am handy. make me a strength check to see if you can toss it to. Me. Do I need to do a dex roll? Yeah, I'm going to, I did I forget that time. Roll, but I want to toss it to him so that if he passes me, I'm hoping he'll pull me with him. I got <laughs> eighteen on my dex. You don't take any damage. You don't. Roll. You don't take any damage. Uh, yeah, but go ahead, and make me a strength. Back. Make me a strength roll or strength saving <laughs> throw. Uh, strength check, whatever it's called. Oh. Mouse. The throw the rope. <laughs> the same. I'm throwing the rope. Uh, three. Good, good at throw. So what I'm doing, I got an 11. What I'm doing is I'm tossing the rope, but I'm still holding onto it, so I'm just kind of letting it loosely fly out of my hands, through my hands. So I'm going to keep hold of it as he takes it. And if he passes me, I'm just going to hold on tight and hope that he'll pull me with him. Okay, well, you threw it about halfway to him. Uh huh. So he's gonna have to <laughs> move so over he's to. to he's gonna have to take a little bit of his movement to move over to the rope and pick it up. <laughs> you know he ain't gonna do that. <laughs> well, regardless of I if I to... know that or not, that's what he's gonna have to do. To... Like, I toss it so poorly, and I just point at it, at him, point at it, and just nod at him <laughs> awkwardly, like a dumbass. It's your turn, Rhaegar. What do you do? Oh, shit. I didn't I'm going to go move. pick up the rope. <laughs> oh, he's going to pick up the rope. He did uh, it. Uh, uh, as, I, uh, as, I run towards the, uh, as I run towards the rope, I'm going to scream out. <laughs> What? I got you. No, I, oh, I, I sounded like you used a voice changer. He did use out. a voice yeah. changer. Oh. What did he say? He said, I, I got, got you. you. Oh, and my, like, like my eyes water up, and I get this, like, yeah, he, smile, and I, I hold the rope so tightly. And it was at this moment that Mouse has the face of uh, the Shrek movie, A Puss in Boots, where he opens his yeah. eyes really wide. <laughs> I would like to poke Mouse in his giant eye. Okay, so Rhaegar, for you to do what you're doing now, you're still going to have to make a full dash to the archway on your next turn. Okay. okay. As right, he's rolling away. that, can I turn around and look to Mouse while he's doing that face? And just uh, go, you ever do that face again, I'm going to poke you in the giant eye. <laughs> Picking up the, the rope was only part of my movement, so what am I doing with the other part of the movement? You can move closer to the door, but you're still going to have to use uh, a dash on your okay. next turn. Let me drag this little bastard out of the hole. Well, I'm not in a hole. He's I'm not in a hole. That the momentum will pull me. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> like, so, I'm, I'm moving, actually, but I'm I, moving as oh, fast oh, as you Okay, okay. Here's one, here's one. Can I use the rope to, like, can I, like, can I 
tug on the rope hard enough to slingshot him towards the door. Oh, I will allow this, Tony. <laughs> okay, DM. All right. <laughs> like, this is the only time I didn't I know that I was a player him. now. He's okay. not touching. He's not. Like, I'm just saying I will allow this because before he's always been wanting to throw me, remember? And I'm just like, I will rate. Like, I'm not going to even oppose it. That's what I'm meaning. I will not oppose this. Okay. So, I mean, I'm All just right. Saying, like, Here's what he's I not will do. Me. He's not, he's not Here's what me. I will do. It's within the chaotic good. Uh, I alignment. I understand that part. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to allow Rhaegar to do this bullshit <laughs> by ro Go by on. rolling a strength by rolling a strength check. If he Go succeeds, on. Mouse, on your next turn when you land, you roll your Dex saving throw with disadvantage. Oh, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna. I like it. You are I like it. You're good. <laughs> Got Rhaegar, make I me like a it. make me a strength check with advantage. Yes, sir. Cause... Okay, first one's a twenty-two. Sure. That one fell off the table. Tony. Second DM. one's a twenty-one. Okay. Do I have to roll a strength check to see if I have to hold on to the? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, I'm just making sure. No. Because if he's going to be yanking me, that's going to be a lot of force. No, he's going to yank you, but when you land, yeah. you're going to roll with disadvantage yeah. on your deck well, saving Well, I was throw. wondering if I was going to have to, you know, in order to see if I actually still hold on to the rope while he's swinging at me. No. no. And, uh, okay. I'll say, I will say that you're light enough to where that you will be able to do that and not have to roll anything. Okay. Sounds good to me. And, uh, you're at the door, though. Just as I as I throw a mouse, I want to say, "Hang on to your nuts, bitch." <laughs> anyway, you're at the door. <laughs> when he says that, I, I look at him like, "If I do, I have to let go." <laughs> you are at the door, mouse. Um, and I'm going to describe to you what you see as you're flying through the air <laughs> through this archway. Uh, is, it, is it rainbows and butterflies and a meadow full of sunflowers? <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, I'm going to swap back over to this screen that you guys currently see. But as you're flying through the air, you see a 300 foot long bridge that goes towards what looks to be like a blue portal at the very end of it. You can see it because it's uh -huh. shining extremely bright and you can also see what's left of some, some of the people uh right. running across the bridge however uh on your turn i'm going to need to have you roll a perception check before you land oh sweet all right so uh, so i i know there's a 300 foot bridge and a blue portal at the end though that's, yes that's that you do know that, that you do know sweet all right, so when is my turn again? Next? Norbit, it's your turn. No, Norbit. Yes. I would uh, like to dodge. You're at the my door. Forehead. You see the Bo. same You see the same thing he does, but I know. Bo. As okay. I'm running, I want to say, do you want to see a trick? <laughs> oh. Okay. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen listening at home, this will go down in infamy as the episode that we caused Slade Zeno to have a fucking brain aneurysm. I've already had one. Thank you very much. Apparently, he keeps forgetting things, so I'm not sure. going to make more torture for him. It, that's literally what the name of this episode is going to be, is when the DM forgets how to play D&D. &D. So, what am I rolling next? Right, to see if You're I'm rolling a deck. Well, I need you to roll me a perception check first, and then I'm going to have you roll the deck saving throw. Got you. All right, let's see. Um, I got a 13 for perception. Okay. And for dexterity, I got a 16. You're going to take a little bit of damage from the deck saving throw, uh, but with the perception of 13, I will say that you can only see it close by to you, like so closer towards the front of the bridge where you're about to start at. Some of the people running across are they are running towards the portal to leave, but some of them are 
one disappearing, two exploding, or three they are basically stuck. I'm gonna shout us a neat trick. Do what now? I'm gonna shout at them. That's a cool trick. Uh, okay, so uh, you are gonna take one d four points of damage from falling debris. Take and four. My ankle doing a flip. You do four points of damage. Uh, in true D&D fashion, I am now. Um, yeah, I am on a straight path towards that door. The one that sprucely stares by. He just opened the, the front gate and he's just now walking in. Yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh shit. Mouse, it's your turn. So I need you to immediately roll a perception check. Then followed up by uh, the dexterity saving throw with disadvantage as you land. Okay, so dexterity saving with disadvantage, but first a perception. First perception, then disadvantage on dexterity saving throw as you All land, right. and then you as can finish your I turn. As I am rolling, as I am rolling, I, I yell back to my teammates, Hey guys, I see a three exactly 300 foot bridge with a blue portal at the end. <laughs> with my perception. So descriptive. <laughs> I got a seven. What else do I yell to them, Tony? Or do you, I see anything else? What you see is bugs flying into your eyes as your dumbass is still flying through the air. <laughs> and, they, and they really squishy, ugly blip. A very, and that's when I hit the ground. <laughs> and, and or actually as I'm about to hit the ground do I take damage let's see you don't what no 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 I'm, I'm talking about my dexterity I'm rolling. oh oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. roll your yeah, dexterity yeah, my dexterity with disadvantage, disadvantage. oh I hope it's another 19 because that was my first roll a 15 okay you're going to take damage not a lot but and you... I hit the ground face first you 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 scrape feet, you scrape your face <laughs> for four points of damage. Uh huh. Uh, and you can use the rest of your turn now. And I look up and I go, and a bunch of people are exploding. <laughs> uh, we're going to. Uh, do you want to do anything else this turn on your movement wise? Because if not, we're going to immediately yes, go to Rhaegar. I'm going to shakily pick myself up with like blood and scrapes all on me and a tooth missing. And I'm just going to drag myself by 25 feet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say you're at right at the edge of the bridge of where it starts. And then, Rhaegar, go ahead and do your turn so that we can swap over to the bridge part. Dash me, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, you see basically the same thing that... Uh, you already know most of this because you came from this area, but I do still need you to roll me a perception check as you get to the archway, just like they did. New meme of the D&D. Dash me. Fourteen. Basically, you see the same thing Norbit did. Like, you see some people, random people disappearing randomly. Uh, you see some people exploding. And then other people are, like, like frozen, almost. Like, they can't move. It, you see various different things happening, basically. But those are the main things that you see. Okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Norbit, it's your turn. So here's how we're going to do this. And I'm going to put you guys at the very edge of the bridge so you'll know exactly where you're at. Yeah. Wait, are we now out of the arena? You're now out of the casino. You're now on the bridge. So I have no. I have my spells box. No. I thought you said when we were out of the casino, I got my spells box. Okay, no, so you lost them because you're, you're still in the magic Basically, realm. I'm preventing yeah. you from flying and cheating to go across this bridge. Right. Well, so how you're about not. I get my spells back. <laughs> Long rest. Fuck. Yeah. And it's such a yeah, yeah, that's why I said like earlier. Fly. It's equivalent to him canceling out your your ability to have. Every like you cannot do anything you while you're here. Your spells. 
I so all you have to do is IQ plan as well. I was gonna hold shield as a reaction, give myself a plus five AC, and sprint that bridge like a. He mob pretty mob much forced us to run away. Oh, is what he was yes. to do. I'm forcing you to run out of here. You're you're having to leave. So Soft you place. guys are at the top of the bridge. This bridge is exactly 300 feet down. Okay, you're going to have to do more dash action, but now. What you're going to have to do instead of dexterity saving throws is you're now going to have to, depending on, let me read how this works because I'm doing this one differently. You're going to have to roll perception checks. That's interesting. Okay. You're going to have to roll perception checks first. If you fail, then you automatically get hit by one of uh, something in this list. If you There's pass, if you pass, you can, depending on how high you pass, you can either avoid certain ones of them, or you can avoid all of them altogether. Uh, for um, that turn, for that turn. Okay. All right. So, uh, it was Rhaegar's title, turn. Tony. Huh? It was my turn. Wanna? In the chat, there's your title. DM wants just one win in the session, but fails at everything else. I'll keep that. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's what it really felt like. You could you like? That's like, that's oh, fair. Get rid of that that's bird. fair. Got to prevent him from doing all the stuff that. That's would fair. Make it so much easier for them. That's fair. I thought we were going for uh, mistakes were made. It's pretty much. Mistakes are made, and like basically the DM. We well, can put that today. at the end. Like at the end, you can go dot dot dot. Mistakes were made. Okay, so uh, it's technically your turn, Norbit. It's three hundred right, so, feet. Yeah. So, so uh, what I would like to do is I would like to do my dash action because I have fuck all else I can do in this situation since I'm basically a peasant now. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> you know. Oh, man. Uh, so That's I'll do really my dash one. action. What do you want me to uh, roll, Mister DM man? Wanting win. your speed is thirty, right? It is thirty until I drink a speed potion that I magically pop out of my ass. You can do that. Thousands of miles a mile an hour. In my brain, in my heart, I can't. It's the adrenaline. <laughs> It's a dopamine. <laughs> yeah, but I would like the to cardio. Dash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was your dash action. Uh, uh, yes. I need you to roll me the perception check. Twenty-one. You will avoid all of them this turn. I um, have not finished my turn yet, though. Uh, I'll, well, let me tell you what you <laughs> see first, yes. fucking asshole. Before uh, you, you, you do anything you else. Too early. <laughs> Never like, fail. Rolls a perception roll. I don't see anything because fuck you, DM, because it's not the end of my turn. Okay, God. Cool. Yep, yeah, because I have a plan that is going to... You have two traps next to you, one to your left and one to your right that you could have stepped on. Mm -hmm. uh, you, One of the traps is purple in color, and the other one is like a brownish color. Got you. Um... Okay. Do it, do it. Um, so, right. Uh, would a, like an arcana check on those be a bonus action? It would be classified as a free action. Right, well, first of all, I'd like, I'd like to do an arcana check on them both. Okay. Uh, I got an 11. I will say even with 11 that the one that's purple has a rune on it. Heard. Um, I would like to take out my magic feather pad. Okay. And underneath the purple trap, put ruin slash Norby was here. Okay, I need you to now make me a wisdom saving throw because you touched totally it. Totally worth it. I didn't touch it, I said underneath it. As long as you touch it in some 22. way. 22. 22? I got the fucking max I could get. You... You crit? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't affect you at all, and you take no damage, but you do see it explode, and it explodes outward away from you. 
uh, because of your pen that you jabbed into it to point it away from you. And uh, the the pedestrian, the, the innocent bystander that is running past you gets hit by it. Uh, it's Boy, suddenly... Uh, that pedestrian is suddenly confused and has no idea where he's at and just walks off the bridge. I'm going to turn around real quick and shout to the mouse and Rager. Purple mean boom confusion. Bug trap. All right, I, I look turn. at the uh, civilians and I go, I don't know. Doesn't that have some sort of effect on his alignment? Uh, well, it wasn't actually intentional. It, it was not intentional. intentional. Had it been intentional, then it would have been. Yeah. yeah. But, um... I let these two know what happens with a purple trap, and I will end my turn there. Okay. Uh, Mouse, it's your turn. Uh, forgot what I, where it was at. <laughs> You're at the very edge of the bridge. You're the blue dot. Oh, uh, there's a picture. Oh, that's right. I do have a picture of this it. one, because it's yeah. a bridge. Yeah, let me... Hold on. Uh, yeah, because I didn't have it pulled up. Oh, I'm way up there. Oh, shit. Um... With my scratched up body, I'm just like, like, just lazily swinging back and forth, just staring at it, a little bit of bloody drool running from my lip. I uh, look at it, go shiny, and I touch the portal. Wait, you do what? Isn't there a portal there? No. A portal? Didn't you say there? No. Oh, I thought you said there was a you portal. You have to run 300 the feet the across this bridge to get to the portal. Oh, I thought you said I was at the edge of the bridge, like the actual No, bridge. you're on, okay, the portal is on one side of the bridge, and you're on the other side. Uh -huh. You have to get to oh. the portal. Oh, so I'm at the start of the bridge. Yes. <laughs> uh, how many dash actions would it take for me to get to the other side? Your speed is 25, correct? Sure is. You're going to have to do an additional dash action uh, apart from what Norbit and Rhaegar are going to have to do. Mm. I will use the new slogan, our sponsor, Dash Me. Dash Me. You are going to roughly be about there. Need you to make a perception roll. I don't know why it was. I don't know why it was set up this way, but that's the way it was. It's reading here. So yeah, I was gonna say it seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Um, perception for it. I, I could have understood. I thought you like, wrote this, Tony. I did w write it, but I didn't write the trap charts. Yeah, I was gonna I was say trapped. I would have, uh, I would yeah. have understood like uh, acrobatics or something a little bit more, or even athletics. But I mean, it worked. Like, I went and looked for... That's a 20, motherfucker. 30, 20? Yeah, same thing with um, uh, Norbit. Basically, you see two traps next to you, uh, except that one of, them is, it, one of them is green, and the other one is brown. Right. So it's not purple and brown. This one's green and brown, and there's one on either side of you. Right. Okay. Do you do anything? Right. No, you don't. No. Ray guards. No, I, I dashed. I, <laughs> what else would I want to do? I can't check it. Nah. Ray guards, your turn. Dash me. Need you to make a perception check, please. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um. Yep. You see one of the traps, and it's to your right. And it's uh, green. Can I make an arcana check? Yes. <laughs> it's a crit. It's a crit. You can tell by the rune on top of this trap that it's a uh, arrow trap. Poison arrow trap. Okay, can I call it to the other guys? Yeah. Poison stabby thing. Don't touch. You'll be sick. You'll throw up. You'll shit yourself to death. Oh, sweet. A normal Sunday. Uh, Norbit, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, question about Norbit. Yep. Flash the green trap. Um, is it Norbit that's immune to poison, or is it Pigeon? I forgot. Pigeon. Got it, never mind then. Alright, um, yeah. Uh, I would like to, before I do my movement, do a Arcana check to see if I can figure, like, almost, like, highlight for myself, like, the, the route between the traps, so, like, so I know where they are through the Arcana sense thing. Okay. The jig. Uh, Question. 
please be good. 21. Okay, I'm gonna draw it out for you. Uh, Rager, I believe you would still be enraged because there's only like 10 of your turns. It's 10 of our turns total, like it's one whole round. Oh, got you. Yeah. But yeah, still, yeah, 10. But I think you're still good. Mm, I think you're still ready for Because what was it? Three, uh, it was four the last one, and we've only what, gone two times or one time right now? This one is my second times. on the bridge. Okay, so yeah, it's, yeah, so two. So it's been, you went four, because you had a, you stopped to pick up the rope, wing uh -huh. man. Um, so that's, I don't know if this is your second time, Rhaegar, so if it was your second time, then six, not, then it's five, so you're halfway, roughly. Um. I'm very confused why the DMD has oh, wait, no, you went a rage. DNA strong. You went rage on the third turn of the bridge. It wasn't at the start of it. So you actually have more turns, actually. So, so if it was one or two turns here, plus that one turn, so it's either three or two turns. So for the two. people watching... No, I didn't uh, go rage on the bridge. I went, I went rage no, in no, the main no. room. Yeah, no, I'm, talking, I'm, not, I'm not talking about on the bridge. I mean, like, back there when you swung me. Remember when you grabbed the rope? That wasn't at the start of the uh, of that room. That's what I meant. So um, it was halfway. So, so it's, it's, it's it's only been depending on how many turns you have on the bridge. It's either one, or two, or three. Anyone else looking at what Tony drew? I just know. Oh, I don't know okay. what he drew. I actually had yeah, a question, yeah. Tony. I actually had a question. Yeah. Uh, let me answer Norbit's thing first, and then. Uh, well, I what has you... to do with Norbit, actually? Okay. Um, when Pitch, where did Norbit? Where did you have? Uh, where did you have your uh, your dire wolf? I don't remember what we agreed on because it, it, it's in your backpack. Time, got you. Because I was gonna say we fucking moved that thing so much at this point. I'm just like, I okay, I couldn't remember if you put it in Pigeon because if he says that Pigeon was squished, no. crumpled up. No, <laughs> no, it was. I, I, it was in his backpack. It was in his backpack. I thought about it just now. Okay. Uh, Norbit. So, basically what you see with your Arcana check, you see the aura surrounding each of the traps. You do see a pathway of the design of the traps layout. So, the purple traps are making one pathway. The brown uh, traps are making another pathway. There's green traps along the sides of the wall, and then uh, in the center where you see the lines, it skips colors. So like where Mouse is standing at right now, there's the brown traps, then it goes to blue, and then it will go to like purple, then green, and so on and so forth. So it, it rotates colors through the this pathway. Um, this is so what you see right now. Yeah, so quickly for the listeners at home, uh, what Tony has drew looks like a DNA strand. It's uh, basically that, yes. Yeah, so that's what we've got to try and make his way through for the listeners. Um, so, you said people also had run through these traps and blew There are people them. running through across this bridge with you, and yeah. I am making rolls as we're speaking for those people, so not all of these traps are going to activate. Uh, when yes. you go near them, uh, so that's why that I'm assuming that it's having you roll perception checks first yeah, is because that's of what that. Going to ask about is like the traps that are um, already built. Yeah, because the way that this reset. the way that this is laid out for this is that it was designed so that there would be people who would take the blunt of the blow for you guys uh, yeah. as like NPCs. But there is still a pathway for each of them, and each trap does something different. Um, but uh, it, I'm assuming that because of that, the way that it's laid out, that the perception rolls is because of that, is because yeah. of the people that's coming through, and it's telling you, it's like, hey, you can roll a perception check to see if there's a trap near you and to see if it's active or not. And if Got it you. is active, then don't touch it. If it's not active, then don't worry about it. All right. Well, since I've already done my free action, uh, and I know that sort of thing now, I'm just gonna dash. I'm gonna do dash me basically. Okay. Uh, so for the thing. 
when, with your arcana check you're you're going to yeah. know where everything's at basically but you're going to yeah. dash far enough to where that there's going to be a brown trap to your left so what i want you to do now that you know the layout is you're going to roll a uh for brown it's constitution so roll me a constitution saving throw with advantage because you do know that it's there okay Uh, i got a 15. okay you do pass barely but you do pass yep uh so the trap will basically uh, go off but it won't hit you it'll hit a bystander near you uh, the brown trap is the poison arrows, and it shoots out from the sides of the wall and hits a innocent bystander running by you and hits them as they're coming past you, and they instantly fall to the ground. Uh, um, DM? Yes, sir. I thought you said that that was the green one. Let let me reread this again. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Green one. Okay, yeah. It, okay, so the brown one is also arrows, but it's just regular arrows, not poison arrows. That's my bad. Got so it. it's regular arrows, so it's the same, but it's still going to be enough damage to instantly kill this innocent bystander. So, Damn. Uh, so uh, the arrows are really strong and my bystander is really weak. Um, yeah, so like... Think of like uh, commoners, basically, and they only have maybe like at most six to eight HP normally. You know, they ain't ah, no peasants. 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 You know how much yeah, those yeah. tickets were? They ain't no damn common. Well, even rich people in D and D terms ha- still can have the stats of a commoner. They can still have like the same HP oh, and stuff. About the stats. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's what like I meant. Like their HP, like... the, yeah, their HP yeah. is like that of a commoner, basically. How much Rhaegar had to spend to get in here to cross this bridge? Yeah, so and it's... Like, there's no way... Yeah, it, it, they, like they are... Milk. These people are rich, that is for certain, but they have, like, the stats of, like, a commoner. So, like, their HP okay. is extremely low. They can die really easily. Stuff like that, so... So, in the minute, I'm basically a commoner. Let's go. Um... Yeah, right, I'll, uh, I'll shout to them that the uh, brown trap is normal arrow, hurt it, and then um, leave it at that. Okay, Mouse, it's your turn. I would like to use my entire turn, Tony. Every single action, bonus action, free action, everything for one thing, Tony. The dash? No. Okay. I would like to craft something. Very simple. And I, I think I'm pretty sure I have the means to craft it. And if you will let me roll to see if I can make it. Hey, what are you wanting to craft? A simple sling. I have a bowstring. And I'm sure I could use part of the robe to make it a sling like with, uh, to sling rocks with. It's a ranged weapon. It's a simple item. It's a 1d4 bludgeoning damage type item rarity standard. Range is 30 to uh, 220. I will let you do that, but you need to roll a... I'm going to say survival or nature. Okay. Uh, question for the DM about the pathways of the traps. Sure. Um, so since I know that pathway now, uh, like it's, you said it was highlighted almost like it was like it, for hour. you you can see it it's highlighted yeah is there any way for me to actually like almost show not a uh, Rhaegar and mouse that? basically what you're gonna have to do is like shout it out to them because they're not gonna be able to see it like you do it's almost like you with your eyes can see it with like the magical aura that's surrounding it because they have runes attached to them Whereas oh, yeah. they don't have magical properties, so they can't physically see the same thing you're seeing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was just wondering if I was gonna have to shout or anything. Yeah, you're know, gonna have to yeah. shout it and let them know where they're coming near if you want to do that. Got what about the Arcana crit that I got on the green trap earlier? Uh, you can see the green one, but I for the rest of them you won't be able to see them. Okay. To get it. So we have to roll every time we move. Is what you're saying. Yeah, as for the for 
mouse for you, mouse, and for Rhaegar. I yes. rolled a twenty-two. I rolled a twenty-two for you. You sling. absolutely successfully craft this janky ass sling <laughs> out of twenty-two. It's got to at least not be janky. It's got to at least be like. You know, I mean, it's de decent. it is decent, but like okay, like I'm asking for like the better, decent, like, the better stats. The All right, yeah, so he's all like wasn't expecting it. All right, I'm gonna pick up some rocks later on because I'm gonna use this thing to try to uh, to try to blow up some of these traps, guys. Okay. Uh, Ray, uh, Ray Guard, it's your turn. And this move is brought to you by our sponsor, Dash Me. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your perception check. 16. Uh, you do see the purple one uh, to what would be your right. Ooh. We know what the purple one does, don't we? Uh, because he shouted it out to you, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I need everybody to roll perception checks. Uh, real quick, Tony. Um, Master DM... Uh, can you look up the information on makeshift improvised weapon so that I can get an idea of what I have to roll to see if I hit? And remember, it's considered a ranged weapon, so I'm proficient with it. Tony? I'm looking. Okay, okay. I, I thought I cut out. That's why I was, I was like, I do. All right. Um, I'm going to roll now. I got a 17. Okay. Nice. Set perception. Yes, sir. Rhaegar said he got a 16. I got a 23. Okay. Uh, all of you see it coming up behind Mouse about roughly about 80 feet away. The blue dragon wormling has appeared. Shit. Uh, question for the day up. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you're going to class this as one of my spells or not, so that's why I'm asking. Uh, but I can make illusions if I touch stuff and stuff like that. Car. Is that also cancelled out because of the thing that happened earlier? You're essentially not casting a spell, but I'm going because of the situation you're in. I'm going to make you roll an Arcana check to see if you can successfully do that. Got ya. So if you do something like that, I'm going to make you roll for it, basically. Yeah, um, but oh, all just... all three of you see the blue dragon wormling emerge out of the casino and it's heading your direction. Oh, yeah. Okay. As for Mouse's question that he asked earlier, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to roll mm -hmm. a 1d20 plus your proficiency bonus to see if you hit, and then your damage is going to be 1d4. Proficiency... So 1d20 plus 2. And do I get a bonus since it's arranged at all? I will say that um, that I will Is give you a plus 1 for a bonus for your slingshot. Yeah. Okay, so I get 1d20 plus 3. Yeah. And then it's, and the uh, damage is 1d4. It's just so straight up 1d4. Up okay, making sure. Yeah, it's just straight up uh, one different. Because it's 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 yeah, it's not really meant for like I'm not gonna use this thing for combat anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let me write this down real quick. One D twenty plus three and then one. Alright, so just to let you guys know, the dragon wormling goes last in the order of operations, but it has a fly speed of sixty. Uh, it has to use a full dash in order to get to Mouse, and it has to use two in order to get to Norbit and Rhaegar. But it's chasing after all of you. Oh, joy. But it's Norbit's turn. So, I would like to, first of all, touch the bridge, like, uh, in f just behind where I was standing. Ah, he and I the bridge. Yes, I know. Uh, but I would like to try and do that thing where I can make a image pop up out of nowhere, pretty much. Okay. Oh, I, I thought you were gonna look for traps. All right. so like I need. You, man I'm going glasses. to need you to roll well, me an Arcana you. check, and because yes, again, because again of the situation you're in, uh, you have to roll high for it to yep. be successful. Oh fuck! Yeah. Beloved, you're not gonna be able to do that. Touch the ground, and you can't feel your magic. It, it's almost as, as it's being blocked by something. Uh, I am going to 
I, I, the, would, I don't know, would this class as an action, Tony? If I was to take out the magic feather pen and quickly like draw out the line out in the The magic air, feather magic pen. pen is no longer in existence because you stuck it underneath the bomb. That's true. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, you use it to pin the bombs, which blew up the other direction. <laughs> Alright, um, so I don't, uh, I'm, I'm asking out of, like, DMD terms, so a dragon wormling is, like, a, like, a, what you'd think of, like, when you think of a regular dragon with gold, like, they just, they're, they're obsessed with it, or no? No, it's, it's more like a, a newly hatched dragon, a baby dragon. Alright, I would like to, uh, use our sponsor of this thing and dash me. Uh, while you are dashing me, I would like to throw one of my golden foons back behind me towards the dragon wormling. Are you honestly me? trying to fucking distract it using a shiny object? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's not okay. you. Okay, hold up, he's hold up. Distracted. You don't know that. It could be. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move Norbit first. Let's get that out yep. of the way. Let me go ahead and make the new path. Uh, so mm -hmm. that I can also get that out of the way. And then, uh, while I'm making the path, go ahead and roll me a deception check, or roll with disadvantage. Would it be deception, deception. or would it be another luck? You're trying to throw a f***ing golden He's tune. He's trying to distract. He's trying to distract the dragon with gold, but yeah. not, not deceive it. He's trying to distract it with real gold. His little, his, his... It's golden food. food. Okay, yeah, it's golden I will. Food. You can either roll a deception check or a pure luck check. But if you roll pure luck, it, it again no modifiers, just straight up one. Yeah. Uh, so either you get your modifier deception. or you get basically nothing. But aren't the rolls technically different? Would the um, would the um, uh, what he's rolling against be different depending on what he actually rolled for? No, it's the same role. You're just going about it two different ways. Huh. I mean, but one of no. them is going to give you a, a like plus a, one. A plus it's literally one. a plus one. So I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. My rolls have been shit, so I might as well just full send this and go Do it. And check for Yolo. the Yolo. I got a Yolo. nineteen. Woo! <laughs> I got a 19. Does my food distract this fucking dragon? Let me finish rubbing my temples at the <laughs> Let me, let me I'm gonna, let, let, I'm gonna, let, I'm, gonna I'm gonna defend, I'm gonna defend the DM here. Something I don't do very often. There oh, is a, uh, there is a, there is a D&D &D uh, TikToker by the name of Offbeat Outlaw. Who says that the uh, it, like because he gets asked quite a lot, you know, I got a, a critical twenty, you know, I was, that, that means I I, I succeed in what I was doing, and he quite often says no, it just means that you can do it. It doesn't mean that you succeed in the action. It just means that you can do it. I was also a look check though. That's why I'm rubbing my temple right now. Yes. Because it was that's why I didn't do deception. Because I feel like look with the is with the luck return. check with the luck check, it basically is like the opposite of that mayhem. He's, where he's pure gambling. Right it's now. pure he's gambling. Pure so gambling. it's like it, it's like he no just modifier, won the no lottery, cheats. basically. Not necessarily. If he got in the crit, that would have been really yeah, lottery. Like with my luck check, right? So unfortunately, for for. My sanity. You can throw this stupid foon. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I tell you what. Yeah. In order for you to do this, you have to give up your whole box. Oh. That is. Oh, he's haggling with the DM. <laughs> you give up your whole box. Don't let me use my full box. You give up your full box. I will leave. Oh, you, I will leave man. you with the one extra that you got before that. But you I give up your full box. No, he doesn't have that extra. He left it on the desk. Remember? Yeah. So I can, unless you were gonna let me throw in ninety nine of them. I will let no, you. No, no, you have a hundred. You have a hundred. You have a hundred. Extra. You left the extra. Yeah, on that's the what desk I'm saying. So if he lets card. me, 
so you okay. can keep Okay, I forgot that you left the extra on the table, so yeah. I will allow you to have one spoon, but the rest yep. of them go. I'm fine with that. If it distracts this fucking dragon, I'm fine with that. Sure. And the luck check, Rhaegar, was actually to see if the dragon was uh, actually affected by... I feel like this object. is fair. So, he, no, yeah, no, so for right, his so luck check... Fair. So for his fair, luck check, yeah, I will no, get, I will allow it to succeed. It I will allow it to succeed, but you have to give up your whole box apart from one food. Yeah, Ooh. no, I think it's fair. Throw I think it off fair. the edge. Throw yeah, it yeah. off the edge. Oh yeah, no, I, I think this is fair, and I will agree with this. Um, I was trying to get cheeky with the fifty food. Do you throw it off the edge? Like, well. No. Will this affect how this make ch changes the role if I say it yes? Might, once I bring up a detail. Yeah, so I'm I I'm gonna say I'm not gonna throw it off the edge. I'm gonna say I'm gonna throw it directly like towards the fucking thing. Gotcha. Okay. Cause if I throw it off the edge, you're not gonna be like, oh the dragon worm will jump off the edge, because that's just like <laughs> and I know what you're like, and I I know the DM is okay. not gonna give me that win. Okay. So you throw <laughs> so you throw it on the bridge behind you, right? Towards the dragon. Yes. Towards the dragon. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Mouse, I need you to roll me a yeah. luck check. <laughs> Sweet. What is the luck check? The luck Four, check is exactly. to see that if it notices you first or if it notices the spoons first. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. I like it. I got a 10. Notice his mouse first. I'm gonna go after oh, mouse well. first before it goes after the foons. Well... Can you mark on the map where the foons are? Uh, yes I can. Thank you. Well, that just counters act his whole... Oh know, no, whole it's still gonna go just... after the foons. It's just gonna go after you first because you're closer. Yeah, that's oh, why I was doing Well, I mean, I it has to make that. a full dash action to get to me, which takes up its whole turn. So if I pass, bypass the, the foons, which, yeah, I would like to know where the foons are, I would pretty much... I'm going to me. draw as, it as a circle. <laughs> because the AOE, because it's like in this club. It's, it's in that clutter. It's in that clutter. Like a, <laughs> so like a so, not, so he, here's how this is going to go down. So it's going to go after Mouse first, and it's going to continue to go after Mouse until Mouse catches up to Norbit. But what? Rhaegar is also going to have green? to roll a luck check. Blue? You're blue. Oh, shit. Dude. Okay, you keep changing the colors on us. I used to be green. No. Yeah, yeah, right. I was green in the last in the yeah, last you, fucking uh Yeah, Rhaegar hey, Rhaegar is green. Blue. What fuck what the fuck is that bullshit? Rhaegar is green. Norbit is like the the tannish color. You're blue, and this giant red dot is the wormling. That's messed up, Tony. Well, you can thank that's Norbit for his luck check. No, I'm, I'm, that's that's messed up because I, I was originally green and you completely confused the fuck out of me. Well, I mean that's what you get for I mean, having have me go problem. and find maps and draw all this shit for you instead of just letting me describe it. Hey, uh, uh, don't don't even do that. All right, because that is a legit thing. I needed that because you didn't mention anything about the glass the last session. That's on you, boy. All right, I tell you me. what, I'll cancel out the luck check. <laughs> but Rhaegar still has to roll. Uh, uh what, 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 what? <laughs> so, because Mouse is mad at me for not informing him ahead of time no, of what like, color I, I, it I, is. Like, I don't care about the luck, about the dragon seeing me. I'm fine with that. I'm just saying, like, uh, you changed the colors without notifying me, so I did not know I was well, the blue dot. I told you, bef as you showed up on the bridge, I told you what colors you were. Did you? I have the yeah, recording. He yeah, he, he did. did? Okay, because well, I, I was assuming I was still green. No, I told you as page. you entered up here. That's fine, but still, I, I did not know you had changed the colors on it. So I thought you had changed you had No, the I, same when color. we started on the bridge, I told all three of you what colors you were. 
All right. All right. So. But I have no problem with the dragon. It is features. on I'm your turn, I though. I would it be. is your turn. And you are roughly two dash actions away from Rhaegar. Wait, it's my turn? Yes. I thought the dragon goes next. No, the dragon goes last. So I don't have to roll? No, you you, no, 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 not. I thought I had a problem with. You roll. don't have, have to. Yeah, you don't roll. have to roll I until decide, Mouse catches up with I you. I wasn't green. I didn't know I wasn't green on the map. Yeah, so until Mouse catches up with you, Rhaegar, you will not have to roll because it will go after Mouse first. So what do you do, Mouse? I am going to dash action. Okay. Dash it. I need dash you to roll me a perception check. No, 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 no. 22. Uh, you see all three traps. There's one to your left, one to your right, and one straight in front of you. Are these the ones that they already notified me about? Because I'm... You right. don't know yeah. about the blue one. So you already know about okay, that. Okay, so there's you, one... Okay, there so is one there. that you do not know about. Because I'm about to say, like, why did I roll for stuff I already knew was there? Da, 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 da. Uh, Tony, I will use. Hold on, give me a minute. Shit, shit, shit. Hello. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, okay, making sure you didn't say anything. Let me get to this. <sighs> uh, what will you will you make it a free action for me to look search the battlefield for? Small rocks. Yeah, I'll let I'll let that be a free action. Cause I mean I'll do that as a bonus. Just throwing it out there. I just want to make sure you were you wanted. Alright, so I will search for that. Do I need to roll with a perception? Yeah, you would roll to with a perception, yeah. See how many I find. Wait, you rolled a twenty two on your perception for the traps, right? Will you use that one for it? I'll, I will say that part of that 22, you can find the rocks. How many do I find? I'll so say I you a, find five. Oh, sweet. I will put them in my pocket and I will in them turn. You'll end your turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rhaegar, it's your turn. You're yes. about one dash action sure. away from Norbit. Mouse is one dash away from you. Dash me. Roll perception for me, please. Oh. Uh, 17. Uh, you do not see any traps in your area. No, I take that back. There is one trap. There's a blue trap to your right. Blue trap to your right. Okay. But you, you miss it completely. Don't activate. Okay. Then the dragon goes next. It flies directly to mouse. And then it's going to use a breath attack on Mouse. Mouse. Wait, and you said it had to use a dash action to reach me. One whole dash action. Yeah, your speed them. is slower than the rest of the party, so it's still. I know, but if it uses a dash action, that takes up its action, does it not? Yeah. Well, hold up. Let me read this right quick because I think the so lightning. I think sure. the lightning breath is a special ability, but I could be wrong. Oh, okay. So let me make sure. No, you're right. It's an it's classified as an action, so yeah, I can't do okay. that. It flies right right next to you, like right behind you. I turn around and go and I wave at it like hello. Okay. Norbit's back up to you. Well, first of all, I would like to say all of those that doubted me in the previous episode when we got the hundred golden foons, I win. Um Most uh, didn't, but I did. You don't win. You didn't throw them off the yeah. fucking bridge like a fucking logical we person. We all know if I had thrown it off the bridge, Tony would have gone, ha ha, you have fallen for my trap card. And we'd have all been fine. <laughs> for my trap card. <laughs> you know, um... I activate oh, black shit. hole! <laughs> exactly. Like, we all know that would have happened. With, with, with the uh, win Tony's trying to get here today. Uh, so... You know what? Dash me. Okay. Um, you're going to be at the bottom of this part of the this the Sir? the bridge. 
So I'm going to just erase your character for now until they catch up. But there's going to be, I'm going to erase all of this and do it again because there's another, the, the second part of the bridge that you guys have to go across. Yeah. Um, I just erase him. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stop. Uh, Mouse, it's your turn. Okay. Then I have to roll perception. Um. Yes. Twenty-one. You you bypass I'm all five. of the traps. Yeah. Um. Mouse, now it's your turn. More bits. That could have been my twenty-one, bitch. <laughs> could have, but you didn't, did you? No, because you fucking like I need to roll perception. Let's roll a little more. <laughs> Don't make me sound like that. <laughs> You're slightly offended. <laughs> oh, Tony, I'll make a dash action. Alright. Uh, roll me perception. You have brought misfortune on my family. You shall suffer the consequences of making me sound like a nerd. <laughs> well, I mean, you are. Fair point. But I'm a British nerd. <laughs> oh, damn. You're going to get what hit. I mean? You're going to. Uh, you are going to activate my trap card, and uh, <laughs> I need you to roll me a cock block. Cock block. Hmm. Sounds kinky. Damn it! And you. Okay. Well, no, you're not playing. Okay, you might not get out of it. I need you to roll me a uh, dexterity uh, saving. I, I need you to have, roll me a dexterity no saving throw. Dex saving throw. Okay. Uh, twelve. Ooh. Ooh. Not ooh. good. <laughs> fill, us, fill us in on this. Ooh, Tony. You're about to take forty ten points of damage. You're going to be prone, and you're going to have disadvantage on getting out of prone unless somebody comes to save you. What did I get hit with? You're falling through the bridge. Oh, a pitfall trap on a it's bridge? A pitfall, yeah, it's a pitfall trap. The it's fuck that, kind of bullshit is that? That's exactly what it is. It's an implosion trap. Uh, 40. The DM is really scraping for a win here. I know, right? One and our RNG is going to keep going. Hmm, what can we do? Ah, paper mache. Yes, right here. 40, 10 points of damage, and you are prone. And in order to... You you can get out of it on your own, but you have disadvantage on getting out. 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19 points of damage. Uh oh. Well, that is the end of Mouse. <laughs> Are you dead? No, I got one health left. Oh, you're, you you may as well yeah. be dead. I might as well be. So, if you have one health left, it's exactly mm. four, it's exactly forty feet away from you where that gold pile is. So I'm going to give you the opportunity now. Roll another luck check. If you <laughs> roll a DC 15 or higher, the dragon will go after the pile of gold and will ignore you for the remainder of the time while you're on this brick. Fingers crossed, Mouse. <laughs> I want you to tell everybody what you just rolled. I got a 10. Okay. <laughs> Here's my question to you. Rhaegar, do you still have the rope? Ooh. Not that I know of. Well, we never dropped it. We never... <laughs> We're still tied to each okay, other. Okay, okay, okay. Rhaegar. Let me, let, me, let me narrate the second part of that. <laughs> we, never uh... let, we never let go of it. Like, okay, I never let, stayed let, it out. <laughs> let me narrate that second part of the throw. After slinging Mouse through the fucking archway, I let go of it, but I don't know if he oh, did. No, I never, I never stated I let go of the rope. Okay. Yeah, I and did. It, Here's what I'm going to do then. 
I'm not going to let, let Mouse do it on life. this turn. If Rhaegar holds his turn, I'm going to allow Rhaegar to do two things. Rhaegar can then use a luck check to see if the dragon will go after the gold pile because he is in the same general area and cancel yeah. out Alsa's check, his luck check, if he rolls high enough. And if he does roll high enough, I will then allow him after that to go back to Mouse and give him the help action to cancel out the disadvantage because Mouse still has the rope. Okay, since you told Mouse what the DC for the... It's the same DC for you. It's DC 15. Ah, uh, fuck me. 15 or higher. Who's but, done is it next? Uh, that was Mouse's turn, so it technically is Rhaegar's turn. You know what Good I should luck. have done? I should have just asked him, "Hey, can I do a pers- can I do a persuasion instead?" <laughs> instead nice. of a fucking, I should have done a persuasion. It didn't hurt high enough. I know you didn't. What nice. did you roll? <laughs> what did you roll? You better fucking love me, bro. I already do. I, I let 17. you throw me. You rolled a nineteen. Okay, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. The dragon is not going to go after Mouse. It's going to go after the pile of gold. It so will not. Mayhem just this Rhaegar over there going, look, shiny, shiny. Basically, yes. And uh, as he does that, I'm going to turn around and be like, whoa, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to come you, back you on the reborn. bridge. Uh, Rhaegar, I will bridge. allow oh. you. I will allow you to use half of your speed to get to Mouse, and you can then use the rest of your turn to give Mouse the help action to let him get it, uh, cancel out his advantage of getting okay, out so of the can use, I can use half my speed to get the Mouse, give him a help, a help, help action, and then I can use the other half of my speed to get back to where I was. Ah, loopholes. DM rips temples. <laughs> yeah. He drank a bottle of vodka. Oh shit! I done flubbed. <laughs> Fuck you. I just realized this mistake. Norbit, go. <laughs> I'm never, don't ever tell me I can do it. Oh shit! Just go. And just just take go. it back in there because he's let you do it. Just go. <laughs> uh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> Just when he thought he got a win. Nice. That's funny. Oh. oh, damn it, Tony. Norbit, it is your turn. Uh, you still... Uh, so, you're technically at the bottom of the bridge for this mm-hmm. section. So, um, I'm going to redraw you up here at the top. And it's... Oh, yeah. So, just kind of cancel all this other craziness yeah. out. Uh, but you have to go and complete the last section of the bridge in order to get across. And there are Damn traps it. on there are traps on this side too. So that in mind as well. Dash me. Dash. Okay. Roll me a perception check. Uh, my only dash. Sixteen. Uh, you have a trap on either side of you. You have a green and a purple. The the is that, do they go off? No. No, um, I'm gonna look at my gold, my last golden food, and I'm gonna hold it tight. Um, I'm gonna drink a potion. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. I just no, you can't. You use a dash. Oh. Oh yeah, you can. Fuck. I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna ready a potion. <laughs> I'm gonna ready a I'm gonna ready a potion <laughs> for my <laughs> next <laughs> turn. Oh, nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> ready a potion for my so next bad. turn because why it not? Sounds better. It makes me look like I didn't just fuck up. It makes me look like less of an idiot. <laughs> uh, I now feel better. <laughs> Good. Uh, I know. Uh, okay, uh, mouse. It's your turn. You have to roll to get out of being prone. You do not have disadvantage so because he's distracted, of Rhaegar. He's distracted with the... the with he's the distracted, so he's not going to bother you for the remainder of the time you're on this bridge. 
So I would like to I would like to first off take a potion. You cannot while you're prone. Cannot while you're prone. Oh, I'm prone. Oh, I thought Mayhem helped me. Okay. No, no, he's giving you the help action, which canceled oh. out your disadvantage. So you need to roll right. out of getting prone, and then that will be your turn. Okay, okay. What is what is my roll that I'm doing? Yeah, so you're going to be rolling a strength check because that's what I had Norbit roll. Or you had you roll earlier. Uh, so roll a strength check. Just no disadvantage. 13. 13. You do get out, but you do not have a movement. Speed. So yeah. that's your full turn. But I don't have a movement speed. Or a movement action. That's what well, you, you and ba- Okay, so the way that <laughs> prone wor- the way that prone works is that you're using uh-huh. you're you're basically think of it like the same as a dash action, where you're uh-huh. using your bonus your your action to make this the roll to see if you can get out. It just right, so right, happens have, that if you roll high enough, stuff. no, if you rolled high enough, you would have been able to move at half your speed. But you did not roll high enough for that. Right, no, I'm not talking about movement, though. I'm not asking... You're not getting an action or a bonus action, no. Yeah, but I still have free action. You have a free action, yes. Yes, thank you. That's what I actually wanted to do then. Because the potion was just to heal me, but if I, since I can't heal, that's just one less thing I was actually going to do. I am going to roll stealth. Okay. Thank you. If this works... 23, crit. You do... You're invisible. Perfect. And he just said I was invisible. Does that... Is that canon? Is that no, legit? it's not Visibility. fucking canon. I'm being... <laughs> taking everything literal. I, like, he's taking my entire <laughs> session literal. <laughs> and it's... Uh, it's... Okay. It's, session, it's ticking... It's home. making me mad... <laughs> And it's hysterical at the same time, and I don't know which one to feel at the moment. I would like to. I would like to take this moment to uh, let Tony promote anything that of his social medias because after this, he's going to be bald. I like. And we all want to see this. Oh. Man. I have a migraine. Oh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Um, I, I kind of wish we would do something that if something was to happen during one of the sessions, the future reference that Tony would shave his head. No. Yes, I agree. <laughs> no. Or it, dye your hair. How's that? Dye your hair. I might would do and that. beard. I might would do that. But I no, will. just dye the mustache. But I will, will not, mustache. I will not cut my hair. I might, <laughs> sh- I might shave my beard, but I won't cut my hair. I want you to dye just the mustache on your beard. And mustache. <laughs> just the mustache out of everything. Uh, anyway, everything. Uh, yeah, that was my turn. I'm in. I'm Rhaegar. non literally invisible. No, you're not literally <laughs> invisible. Fuck I off, said guy. Non literally. Non literally <laughs> invisible. Rhaegar, please go before I lose my sanity. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Dash me. All right, you're. <laughs> that sounds climactic right there. You're it's like, oh. gosh, man. You're gosh, at the gosh. you're at the edge of the first section of the bridge, uh, where Norbit started the second part of it. I need you to roll me a perception check. That's a thirteen. Okay, uh, you see one of the traps, but the other one does activate on you. So the one you see is to your right. It's a purple one, but the one you don't see, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. A 15. <sighs> Ass. <laughs> the disappointment in your voice is satisfying. I'm be- yes. I've been disappointed <laughs> this entire session. Because I can't do what I want to do and kill you guys. <laughs> like, my, hey, Tony, my notebook hey, it looks like shit right now. There's so many writings on it. I gotta organize all, this shit. All I'm hey, gonna Tony. say is if Tony was a flavor, it'd be better. If I was uh, a, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, no, Norbert, just go. 
hey, Tony, 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 Tony. Yeah. You know how you made me. You know how you made me feel at the end of episode one of my podcast when you made me rewrite the entire ending to my fucking storyline. Well, this counters that out, so you can get rid of that episode you were wanting me to do that you were going to embarrass me by. Oh no 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 no. That's not how this works. That's exactly how this works. Norbert, actually, please go. I am thinking really quickly of what I can do to make this even more difficult. Um, hmm. You're not going to let me do that, so I can't even suggest it. Dash my bitch. Make a perception check. Yeah. I was going to make a religion check and see if I could find out how mad this game went. I am 100% mad. You rolled a crit on your religion check. I got an eight. You got an eight? Thank mm. God. Oh. Wait, actually. Can I retract my statement? Why? Because the last time, last round I said I readied a potion. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remembered. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for turning into this episode of the Dirty 20. Slate Zino is now going to go and cry into a pillow, and uh, that's it. Bro. I'm already crying. Like, I'm already crying. Drink your damn potion. 2d4 plus 4. I <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, this is great. Oh, the memes. I got a. <laughs> Serves you right, you fat bastard. <laughs> Uh, Mouse, please go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm non literally invisible. Uh, I would like to drink a potion. Okay. Did you read it? <laughs> <laughs> Mentally. <laughs> uh, wrong dice. Eight. Four. Oh, wrong four. I'm probably going to drink after this. <laughs> well, I mean, we did say that every time you uh, you lose in Quiplash, like you lose a uh, like your choice is one of the options. We did say that if yours isn't picked, you have to take a shot. Like if yours isn't the, like the top picked one, you have to take a shot. When did we say yeah. that? Last night. I didn't hear that shit. Yeah, it was um, like if like there's multiple people and like let's say there are six people voting and I think that's about right. I think you can have like up to eight people. So I can't do that on stream. Up. So <laughs> oh, you can't drink on stream. You can, that, but you, you can't. can't do that anymore? You, you can, but you can only do it up to a certain amount. Like you right. Well, stop I mean, I understand that. that. Yeah, but it's only whenever yours is the option. So yours isn't always going to be the option. So it's like a shot. Uh, but what did you roll on wig. your potion? Um, I, I, yeah, I stopped. Uh, it's two D four plus two. I got, I got eight as well. You're, yeah, so yeah, you're, you're <laughs> gain eight back. That's nine. You can That's move nine, just your nine. regular movement. Tony's really hoping for a win. You can hear it. Uh, I will move my movement stealthily and slowly. Make a perception check. This is where I get a crit fail. Do I get advantage since I'm being cautious? Unfortunately, Perfect. you do. Thank you. Seven. So glad. You can hear the pain of silence from Tony as he sees that. Oh, ten. Man, oh, I failed anyway. <laughs> so much better. All right, I need you to let's kill. Let's kill the mouse. I need you to make a make both a wisdom saving throw and a constitution saving throw. Saving throws. So okay. If you pass, then no, nothing happens. But if you fail, then uh, uh, I'll do constitution first and then wisdom, since I'm, I'm just gonna go down the list on saving throws. Yep. See if that it's a difference. Gonna be, it's gonna be the same for both of them anyway. It's gonna be plus three, so nineteen on the first, and a fifteen. Bitch. Yeah, you pass. Question Sorry. for the DM. 
Unfortunately, I have to answer. Go. <laughs> what? Uh, why do you want to kill us so badly? It's because not. It's the Avri. But Avri is against us. We must kill Avri. She is the end game boss. Uh, because I just wanted to have fun for a change instead of getting like y'all starting really far instead us. of it's I'm not trying to kill you I just want to succeed at something in life and I'm not doing a very good job at it so <laughs> it's not even you though it's the bot the bot is giving me like the worst rolls at the worst possible time um, like I've almost died twice like no joke <laughs> this one session I've almost died twice yeah to be fair, you had the win where you nearly fucked me up with a slime. That was Mouse's turn. Rhaegar, it's your yeah. turn. I would like to uh, use my normal speed, not a dash. Okay. And then I would like to drink a potion. Cool. <laughs> 2d4 plus 2. Uh, three plus four is seven plus two is nine. Okay, you gain nine back. Dragon doesn't matter. Norbit, go. I'm gonna try and do Tony a solid. I'm gonna dash. Okay. Is there anywhere more for you to dash? Like, I'm yes, gonna, like, where there's are a, they're, they're on the last part of the bridge. It's the and you know what. To even more try and do Tony a solid on this one, rather than do perception, I'm gonna base all of this off of one luck roll. All right, so I'm still blue, right? You're still blue, yes. I tried. Did y'all it. run all the way back? No, I'm. I'm. I can't erase the rest of this until you get to where they're at. So they're pa- they're way past you. They've left okay, you in the dust. I, okay, yeah, you. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, wait, what? I was like, what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> so I, I, I can't erase any of this until you catch up. But they're they are like, like they're yeah, almost yeah. at the portal. You're not even close. Yeah, it was just the dots behind me. That's why I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I got because I, I I haven't been looking at the map the whole time, and I was like. Wait, y'all are still going? <laughs> yeah, they're they're this is the la- they're on the last part of the bridge. You're still in the first part. Gotcha. Tony, I tried to do you a solid and said rather than me rolling perception, I'm gonna base it all off luck and yeah, see if I can yeah, magically yeah. dodge and Mouse is your go, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Uh wait a minute. So has an idea, Tony. Yep. Um I'm moving 25 feet every time, right? Uh, unless you dash. Which I haven't been. Right. Um, so, I'm going to drink my last potion. Okay. Five. All right. Okay. Um. Now, <clears throat> I would like say it's just twenty-five feet that I'm moving. I would like to use perception to look ahead and see if I see any traps before I make my movement. Okay. Do 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 do. 21. I'm going to say that with the 21, you can't see it like Norbit sees it, but you can see the layout mm-hmm. of uh, the same pathways that Norbit sees. Just physically. Gotcha. He can so see it as like auras. Step and av- so I can avoid the traps. Yeah. You, I will say that with the 21, you can flat out just avoid all of the traps from here on out. And I will move my 25 carefully. Does that cancel out the perception roll I normally would No, have no. I'm saying with a 21, you now can avoid all of the traps indefinitely. Oh, oh, damn. I looked at... Wow. Okay, then. Yeah, I just moved my 25, then. I am... Okay. Oh. Well, shit. I all right. Um, Norbit, it's your turn. 
In the spirit of luck and RNG, I'm gonna do a full dash and okay. same as last time and see if I just With your full dash, you will be exactly on top of the portal. Yep. Oh okay. wait, does that mean I'm going for the portal? That's up to you. Alright, no, I, w uh, I will wait at the end of the race for everyone else just clarifying that first. Okay, so uh, you so you can do if you do the full dash, you uh, I will say you can use most of it and stop right at the portal. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. And in the spirit of RNG, I will do it with luck rather than a percent. You do not have to roll this time. Oh, okay. I still want to do it anyway. Ain't that curious? Yeah, you get the shitty rolls right after you get off the bridge. All right, cool. Yep. Awesome. Ray guards, uh, go. Dash me, daddy. Okay. Roll a perception, please. 16. Uh, you see one trap to your left, and it's purple. And you avoid it. Okay. Uh, Mouse, it's your turn. If you mo if you use a full dash right now where you're sitting at, you're close enough to get to the second part of the bridge. And then I can erase all of this mess. All right, so um, you need uh, I, I closed out of it because I didn't know if you were coming back. So I'm just going I, I'm going to say that you need to do three full dash actions in order to get to the portal. Okay. Uh, Ray Garden, you need to do one. Okay. Okay. All right, Mouse, it's your turn. Do you want to use your first dash action? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, go. Uh, we're not going to worry about the traps right now because you uh, you can avoid all of them anyway. So, um, and Raygar's running on the side, so he's only got to worry about it most like two traps. So, um, so Raygar, go ahead and take your dash action, and you don't have to roll perception anyway because you're at the portal. So don't even have to worry about that. So we're skipping Norbit and Rhaegar's turn. So Mouse, I need you to make two more dash actions on your turn uh, turns. So we're gonna say that you can do those now. Okay. okay. You good? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. So you guys get to the portal. You successfully managed to reach there. You you get on top of the portal. You guys teleport back to the bar. Okay. However, when you teleport back to the bar, the entire right side of the city has been collapsed in. It's gone. It's destroyed. Completely obliterated. You walk outside and you can see, looking down off the half that, that is still hanging or being suspended up by magic you can see down below you the city of Latath uh, whereas before you would not have been able to but the entire the entire half of the city has been destroyed you can also see it it's kind of glitchy but uh, you can see on these uh, arcane screens that are on what's left of certain buildings around your area of the rest of the floating city. You can see the three of your pictures, and there's a wanted sign for all three of you. And that's, and that's where we will end the session. What's going on, everybody? My name is the Mayhem Vault 93, and I play as Rhaegar, the Dragonborn Barbarian, over here on the Dirty 20 podcast. If you'd like to see more of me, then feel free to head on over to my streaming channel, twitch.tv forward slash the Mayhem Vault 93. As well as that, you can always check out my own tabletop role playing podcast, Guardian Down, on YouTube. The channel name is the exact same thing, just without 93. I hope you enjoyed the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, because we've had a great time uh, creating it for you, and we would love to hear some feedback down in the comments below. Hello, my name's Ellis, uh, otherwise known as Eli in the Discord of the Dirty 20 podcast. I play Norbert as well as one other character for a short time, 
And uh, if you want to find me anywhere else, twitch.tv forward slash LSCW. If you want to come hang out with me there. And uh, I hope you enjoy the podcast. Are you seeking some slick new gaming gear to add to your arsenal? Our friends over at Inked Gaming have developed their site into a one-stop shop for all of your tabletop gaming needs. From vibrant looking dice to cleverly designed dice bags to sweet sleeves, play mats, and a whole lot more. Their site is rich with quality goods that will help you up your game. Team Inked has been a friendly, reliable supplier to the gaming community for nearly 10 years, and we want them to continue growing for the next 100. In fact, we love their products so much that they didn't even approach us to promote them on our podcast. We wanted to utilize our affiliation with Inked to let people know about their gear. So head on over to InkedGaming.com today and get your hands on some awesome gear that matches your game and your style.